Hey. Hello and good evening. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Here we are at Saving Throw Show, and tonight we are going back to the mysterious Whoa. world of feedback, 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 feedback. <laughs> tape loop, tape loop, tape loop, tape loop. To 1998, for we are about to descend into a magical, sci-fi, incredible, paranormal mystery tonight that you are going to love. I'm so excited. How's it going? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's going. No Great. Worries. Just happy. Great. <laughs> uh, in just a second, we will kick off our story. But first, I say, because this is episode one of our three-part miniseries, let's get to know each other a little bit. Why don't you guys chat about, uh, let's say, Come your here name? often. Yeah, there, yeah, that's great. <laughs> your favorite, your favorite line to your fellow. Line. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Cozy. Real cozy. Hey, the awkwardness out of the world. Uh, I'm gonna say she name uh, like your and uh, let's say favorite '90s film. Let's do that really quick. Oh God, you can't throw that away. Favorite Hi, '90s my is, film. Yeah. My name is Nika. My favorite '90s film is I haven't thought about it yet. So everyone else go in front of me. <laughs> you could have just said I haven't thought about it yet. Yes. The. The, uh, the, the uh, indie quick, film, quick, 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 Sundance, quick, 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 Sundance, Sundance Darling, Sundance Darling, I haven't thought about it yet. Yeah, John uh, and Joan Cusack <laughs> in that one, right? They were great, and yeah. they played cousins instead. It was a huge stretch for them. Yeah. Yeah. It's such, yeah. such variety. I have to look it up. Like, I cannot even... <sighs> I don't mind. Casey the Brewer, thank you very much. Thank you so Casey. much. Wow. And Emperor Riptide from Jumping before the in. show. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> wow, just kicking it off. Wow. We... Rocket it. We're rocking it. There we go. Um... Does anyone have a favorite I do. this movie? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I could do a whole list, but I'm going to pick one. Uh, I'm Holland Farkas, and my favorite 90s movie is Spice World. Wonderful I just choice. watched that the other day, and it was amazing. Yeah. It was not at all what I expected, it's, and I was like, I fucking love this. <laughs> and Jerry Hallowell is ridiculously hot. Yes. I couldn't stop watching <laughs> yeah, I this, this is news to me now, by the way. I was yes. just like, I am 30 years old watching Spice World, and it's great, and I have a thing for Jerry. <laughs> we casted this show so perfectly. I just want you guys to know. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be a Spice World spectacular. How about on this side of the I table? I theaters, because uh, I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, I'll go. Hi. Uh, my name is Jordan Caves Callerman, and my favorite 90s movie, I'm really bad at knowing the date that movies were released, but I'm just yeah. Gonna say, it was Mystery Men a '90s movie or was that an early 2000s movie? That might have been early. I think it was early 2000s. In that case, I'm gonna go Bill Steven and Ted's didn't Bogus Journey. On Great, I love that. Bogus Journey. Bogus Journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Totally oh, Bogus. Excellent Why Adventure you... was '89. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. okay. But also, You're also. Good with Mystery Men. Yeah, I think. I'm good. Oh. Then Mystery Men. Second place, Bogus Journey, which I maintain is the is the, the actually the, the better of the two. Wow. Films. And I think we'll be getting into that a little we probably, bit we as we introduce be, our characters there later. Be a little bit of this character. Wow. <laughs> uh, my name is Colin J. Morris, and I would have to say the most important movie to me in the '90s was The Matrix. Because oh, it completely crap. shattered my uh, concept of reality, which is a problem that still exists to this day. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. We're all dissociative here. <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're Part doing? Of why here? we play yeah. with Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> we were just, this is it. This is, it. <laughs> this is our reality tonight. So, this is, this is the small town. So. <laughs> Wonderful. And I'm the GM tonight, Omar. Thank you so much for having me. My favorite 90s movie, believe it or not, is Mall Rats. Mm. Mall Rats. Mall Rats. Mall Rats. Yeah. Really? That's a good thing. Really good. Yep. All right. I still don't have one. <clears throat> like, I'm completely <laughs> blanking. Which of our favorite 90s movies is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> is it the mask? Because that was my second choice. No, oh, I, wow. I know well, that I have one. Just something like it's... out of Africa. You don't know this. Like, yeah. Yeah, just... <laughs> you have to speak Swahili, but um, no, I literally can't think of one. I, by the end of it, I'll probably have something because I'll be looking up. You can just ones. say the English patient. This is the I've show where we're making all patient. 90s jokes. Okay. I know. I don't, I don't know what that <laughs> is. Then you don't Titanic. know it's not your favorite. Ooh. Titanic is, is I saw it in the 90s movie. Three times in theaters. I still think it's actually quite a good flick. Mm -hmm. Wow, um, and the first DVD uh, ever put out. Really? So, speaking of video <laughs> formats, tonight we'll be jumping into a haunted, magical VHS store in a small town. The small town is Broken Branch. It's one of those podunk towns that was making car manufacturing parts until the factory started to dry up and move out to other bigger cities like Detroit. This is a microwave dinner city, or a town, I'll say, where you're kind of just scraping by. Dreams, difficult to come by. And most of the world we explore is through movies. 
Even though nowadays people just watch TV, you don't really have movie nights anymore. It's towards the end of the 90s and DVDs are becoming a bigger thing, you have portable devices. It's just not the same. There was one VHS store, one VHS store in Broken Branch that everyone loved and everyone would go to. But times have changed, or so we think. And that's why the VHS store is closed. But different factors have brought our characters tonight to this VHS store to explore exactly why it's all boarded up. Because while it makes sense, people are watching fewer movies on VHS nowadays, that doesn't explain why we're seeing mysterious flashing lights and sounds from the store. So, as I'm saying, I'm taking a call from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our characters tonight. Let's start over with maybe someone who has a little bit of experience in the VHS store itself. Sure. Yeah, what's up? My name's uh, Brendan Verhalen, but everyone calls me Beamer. Uh, I actually used to work at the store. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, though. Uh, what was the name of it? Does that have a the name? last VHS right. store. Right. Oh, yeah, right. It was like really just like did what it said on the label. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I used to work there. It was pretty sweet. Perfect. Um, We'll discuss items in a little bit because we'll talk about mechanics just shortly once we jump into it. Mom's calling back. Mom really wants to talk. About <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the internet? Right <laughs> I don't think airplane mode has been invented. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, this we, is a landline. Well, we know that we're on like Times Square right now. I'm like, he's just like <laughs> gotta see this over. I'm watching. <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> Uh, Not what I expected your mom to be like. <laughs> 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 heavy, heavy smoker. Heavy smoker. <laughs> yeah. How about you, sir? Um, hi, my name is Dean Damson, and I am a sophomore at Broken Branch High, and I am the elected class peer mediator for my grade. Um, yeah, you know, I like movies. Um, I have a skateboard, I have a mom and a stepsister, and you know, I spend a lot of time just hanging out with my friends. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Did you run on a post? I did, actually, <laughs> uh, freshman year as well. Okay. So two years running. And still won. That's the important. <laughs> How about you? Uh, do we do we have to give a whole whole bio like he did? You don't have to, no. and I think it's in character for okay, you not great. to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Was not a was not a puppy nut. So my name is Harper Collins. Uh, yes. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That this is, is going to be very confusing for me. I hope that you're proud of yourself. Uh, I, what do you mean? This is my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm a high school graduate, uh, but uh, I'm still here because you know uh, college is expensive, and uh, I have better things to do with my time, like uh, explore haunted VHS stores, apparently. So. Um, yeah, I mean, do, do you need anything else? That's it. it? That's how, how old are you? 18. Oh, okay. We weren't in the same grade then. <laughs> when Probably. did you graduate again? Uh, like two years ago. <laughs> okay, so 90, <laughs> 96? Yeah. I love what a dirtbag yeah. you are already. It's like so good. Um, what? <laughs> It might be a cultural thing because our last character that we're about to meet is not from Broken Branch originally. No, I'm not. I have no idea where this is. Um, my name's Hermione Wright. Uh, I'm from uh, Twickenham. It's a real place. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say I'm just from London because everyone always asks you and you always just say, oh, I'm from London. Um, I'm here on a, an exchange program and it's just awful. <laughs> just, <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> I'm used to a city, like nothing is here. This is. <laughs> Please help me. So, of course, I'm going into some VHS store late at night. There's, there's no reason not to. So. Makes sense. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. Wonderful. Well, these folks are the players on screen, but there are some additional players as well. That's you watching this show <gasps> because you can influence exactly how this story plays out here at Saving Throw. We love your support, and we want to say a huge thank you. So when we hit $10, uh, and if you're glancing in chat, you'll be like, some of these we are blowing through already because you're so generous. So I will rush through these. When, when we get to $10, and we'll be waiting on that one, when we get to $10, uh, we, the table will get three rewinds. Oh. That means... That is so cute! Oh. If something terrible happens, and there's going to be a lot of terrible things happening, <laughs> the table gets to rewind, and you'll get to just 
that didn't happen, you get to use like a magical little VHS tape that we can do. When like we get click. to yeah. Oh, I can't <laughs> reference that movie. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, not yet. I'm sorry. Not yet. It's like the memory card Rewind. in your Nintendo 64. Rewind. When we get to the next I miniseries, which is the this Best is Buy DVD be Ben show, then oh, we can boy. do a lot of click jokes. Uh, at, when we hit 25, you will receive a floor plan of the VHS store itself, so you'll be able to navigate the space. Hell yeah. I love cheating. When we get to... <laughs> Good oh, to know. As a GM, good to know. I'm clocking that. I'm clocking that. Wonderful. <laughs> when we get to 40, one of you will be typecasted, which means you'll be infected by a character oh from my. a film you might interact with, and you'll be stuck in that for a little round. When we okay. get to $60, everyone gets a weapon, which you'll be able to use, and I'll explain exactly how that's going to work in just a second. When we hit $75, you'll enter into a game show. And then finally, which will be like recorded onto a tape, and then it'll be like, it's gonna be a creepy old 90s game show. <laughs> Someone and, rented a video and then returned it with a game show recorded over And they were just like, yeah. you recorded over Wind in the Willows. <laughs> with Why did they record the middle 20 minutes of Jeopardy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no closure to that. I thought I was gonna be on it. Uh, when we hit 100, you will enter into a retro game room. When we hit 150, we will, you will uh, encounter a found footage VHS. This is going to not be one of those fancy printed Power Ranger movie like official things. This is like the sticker and then someone hand wrote something on it that will give you some information. Okay. And then at 200, everything we create tonight is going to break out into Broken Branch. Oh no. Oh god. So we're okay. already halfway there. <laughs> By the way, I found my movie. Oh good. I looked it up. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs was nice. There you go. We did there. it. Let's we did it. We did it. I want to change mine to that. <laughs> <laughs> We can uh, we oh, can totally so wrap good. up. That was it. That was it. We did a great show. Oh, we figured it out. We figured right, it out. We need to take this off. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> choose a rewind to make our movie Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use all three so we can all do it. Yeah. Right away. So, just knock great. those out. Let's just do the Silence of the Lambs RPG. Okay. Perfect. Mm. I am not Clarice. I'm I'll be Clarice. I'm a lamb. I will say there is a hand. <laughs> I'm a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of dialogue for that part. <laughs> there is a chance of that occurring. So, <laughs> all right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna explain exactly how we're gonna play. It'll take just a second, and then we're gonna hop right into this, folks. And we're gonna have such an amazing adventure. This is Act One again of our three-part miniseries. Thank you so much for joining us. You're gonna have such a blast. We're gonna have such a blast, and this is going to be insane. I cannot wait to start. Just so you guys know, when we enter the VHS store, a lot of crazy stuff is going to happen. Uh, some stuff is going to pop out of some screens, a la a movie that hasn't come out yet, known as Ring You. And yes, I'm going to reference the original and not the remake. Uh, and uh, the way this is going to work is if you want to do anything in character that influences the story or the environment, you will roll against me, the GM, with a D20. So if you're like, I want to knock over like a stack of movies, then you just roll against me. If you're higher, you do it. If you're lower, Dude, I- I'm so much higher. Okay. <laughs> and if you're I... lower, I fail. And... <laughs> <laughs> if you are lower, then uh, I will decide the terms of what happens. If we tie, we negotiate. Now, I'm gonna explain also, just so we can hop in in just a sec, the way we're going to explore the VHS store is that when you enter a room and a monster is created, it's going to be inspired by an existing movie that happened before the year of 1998, so it would be in the VHS store. Now, for legal reasons, this won't be an exact reference. <laughs> this isn't some Toy Story Fate game or something we're playing. Uh, so we as a table just, just a random for I don't know like that just popped in my head like I don't know like, I have a feeling that it is like, <laughs> like I don't know like some like yeah <laughs> uh, we will as a table come up with the bootleg movie because this is a strictly bootleg VHS store uh, if any of you also want to throw in ideas into chat, please, because we love that. If you have anything you want to toss in, uh, or if you just want to entertain the idea and just figure out what the plot of our bootleg movie would be, please do that. So, is everyone ready? 
Yeah. yeah. Are we good to embark awesome. on this adventure? Also, thank you, Von Ether, for the bits. What are yes, thank what you. Are, what are thank bits? you, Ian. What are bits? It's like Twitch money. Twitch money. It's like Twitch bucks. You exchange your real bucks for Twitch bucks. Since when has that money. been a thing? <laughs> like a year. <laughs> I said I haven't been on Twitch in like two years. I've been it's been so about you missed it by a year. You missed it by 365 days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm going to chuck, not dice. I'm going to chuck three rewinds on the table since huh? we have those. These can be used at any time. For a second, I thought it was like three rewinds per person. I was like, that is really overpowered. Oh yeah. But I also yeah. just, I love all of this, by the way. Like, okay, Thank you. do you have an entire? Is is the entire rest of your notebook just like? 90s movies oh, that you can remember the them. The entire rest of my notebook is blank pages. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, it's only, it's only I mean, the previous. So because anything can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll a d20 to say that nothing else can happen. Okay, great. Let's do it right now. Let's just contest this mechanic. What'd you get? 17. <laughs> 14. So you're correct. The only things that can happen <laughs> are going to be two pages of my planning. Oh, do I have to use a rewind already? <laughs> it's a bit. Uh, now it's canon. Yeah, oh. very. We're playing super loosey goosey, except that I GM very seriously. And if we don't talk with character boy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I can't even believe. <laughs> so it is 7 p.m. On an autumn night, there is a cool wind blowing. Leaves are rustling on the ground. Outside. The four of you meet up in front of the last VHS store, and you look up at the sign that was originally the last VHS store you'll ever need, but the you'll ever need fell off, and now it's just the last VHS store. The four of you didn't plan on meeting up here. You don't know why you're here, so amongst yourselves, you can chat it really quickly and uh, and see who knows each other and kind of maybe what you're carrying on your persons and what, what brought you to the VHS store. I'll let you guys go ahead and take that off. Well, I show up on my blades. Great. Yeah, that's pretty much how I get around. So, uh, mostly because I don't have a car, but yeah, I'm also, like, they're pretty sweet. Um, and I'm actually here, uh, I mean, yeah, mysterious lights and everything, but I'm actually here because, like, shortly before the store closed, mm -hmm. got like a, there was like a, a weird shipment box that came in, and like, the manager doesn't typically get like weird shipment boxes, so I'm pretty sure that like, that was like studio copies of movies that got shipped here by mistake. Uh, like, maybe like proofs of movies that haven't been released yet. Uh, among them, possibly, the long rumored third and final installment of the Bill and Ted uh, saga. Long rumored. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, people have been clamoring for it. <laughs> uh, so I'm here mostly to like try and get into the storeroom and see if I can find that box. Oh, Dean, what's up? Hey, how's it going? So I see you kind of do the cool like skater move in front of the sidewalk. And, it's not um, as cool as I think it is. Wait, how do you guys know each other? Oh, well, my stepsister's a senior, so she was a sophomore when you were a senior, and you came over to the house to use the trampoline a couple of times. That does sound like me. But yeah. also, they I know a lot of your friends. Life. They're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> Wait, no, so, but, oh, hold on. You're cool. a sophomore? I'm a sophomore. How old is your sister? My, my stepsister's a senior right now. A senior right now, so yeah. she was a, but you said you, did you get like held back or something? Or? No, why would you think that? I, well, I mean, you said that you've been out of school for like two years, so I'm, I'm just doing yeah. basic math. Well, no, I did like community college, but it wasn't for me. It's been like, they don't teach you anything important there. See, yeah. like, that's the thing, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> really uncomfortable what? if every time I do the accent you start laughing. <laughs> Sorry, friend seats. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, your sister and, and me did the exchange program and so I'm just stuck here being your barnacle for the rest of the summer, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that, that is one way to look at it. Um, but I mean, we're, we're, well, no, my mom and I are like really happy to have you in the house and, you know, it's been great. Yeah, and it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's good. Your food's too spicy here. 
Oh, yeah, I talked to her about that. She's gonna get some Hellman's and then that way we can like mix it in oh, with dinner and then that brown should like. Brown sauce. Just always brown sauce. Brown sauce. Oh, no, brown I think sauce. he means like, you mean like mayonnaise? Because I mix that stuff up with like Taco Bell's like salsa packets. Yeah, we were Taco thinking, Bell. we were well, thinking you, it would you know, knock it down. If you order Taco Bell, the sauce that comes on it is already basically just salsa and mayonnaise. You don't have to add an addition. Oh, no, this is for non taco related foods. And as you're chatting about taco <laughs> versus non taco related <laughs> foods, there is a bright flash from inside the VHS store. And then you hear the rattling and rumbling of an impossible space. And then everything goes quiet. The door itself is locked and chained shut. This is a derelict VHS store and no one has seen the owner at slash founder in forever. Ever since Forever. you closed, it closed down. So, oh, like two weeks ago, yeah. a fortnight, he like, a fortnight yeah. ago. It's been, it's been at least a fortnight. It's been at least a fortnight, For maybe sure. fifteen days, if we're going extreme. <laughs> and I think this is a proper time for all of you to talk about what you have on yourselves that might be able to break that lock to get inside the VHS store. <laughs> <clears throat> We can go Nothing. Ahead. <laughs> what do you have on you in general? Uh, what I have on me in general, okay. Um, I have a uh, British passport mm -hmm. uh, to bring me everywhere. Uh, I have a pewter ring, which I thank you, WDB Eleven. Thank, um, thank you so much. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that I brought in a lot of people that are donating right now. So just like, if you ever want to like, <laughs> me oh my god, things. wait, is this in character or is that real life that uh, you're saying that? <laughs> Uh, I guess, well, what You'll did your characters know. bring? Um, but most importantly, what did Holland bring tonight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, waves and she waves. She brought the party that brought the party. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> of party vibes. So thank you, Holland Farkas, for all the party vibes uh, tonight uh, and in perpetuity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a passport, a pewter ring um, that is very special and important to me. It's very pretty. Um, cigarettes and a lighter, and um, a paperback book. Mm. Or, sorry, a hardcover book. It's a hardcover. Any particular book, Hermione? No. <laughs> no? Just a, okay. Sure. Yes. What is it? It's Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the first Harry Potter book, and it's very well worn and very hidden away. So like in a book bag kind of thing. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How about you? What are you, you catering on you? Yeah, I don't think any of mine are gonna help either. Um, so I have I have my Polaroid camera, which I take with me everywhere. Uh, you know, kind of kind of per pursuing photography on the side. Oh. Uh, made Do, you have any those, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of those ones that have like the frames that are like a balloon party? Uh, I don't think they invented those yet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Maybe. I don't know when those came out. I just have normal ones. Google search balloon party Polaroid year. <laughs> uh, you can draw balloons on them, though, in the empty space. Word. Yeah. So that's what you have on you. Yeah, just no. And then uh, I have a I have a, a bouncy ball because found it in my pocket. <laughs> my uh, my Tamagotchi, because you know, and uh, some Airheads. Ooh. Every flavor. You snack. have quite a few flavors. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I have one of one of each. I think there's there's six six flavors. Including five flavors. mystery, I believe, right? Including mystery, yeah. 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 Did we, yeah. Those are, <laughs> Those are so good. Did we did we talk about what, what made you show up tonight? Uh you know, I was just uh running out of stuff to do. You know, I live I live down the street uh. and I saw a bunch of people kind of hovering around the weird VHS store. Yeah, uh, so I figured I would just see what was going on, didn't want to be left out. Um, but you know, pretty much just passing time. Perfect. There's yeah. not much to do here, <laughs> if we're gonna be honest. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, it's broken branches. Pretty sweet, like, blading courses. Blading courses? <laughs> yeah. Is that you like, is that like, <laughs> is that no, like I fighting or something? <laughs> no, 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 it's like, I'll just stick my shoes up, like, yeah, it's like, you know, blade? rollerblades. Huh, all right. And it's like skates, but like every all the wheels are in a line. We have them here in America. Yeah, I've noticed on your feet. How do you stand still? Uh, you don't. You just kind of like you wiggle, sort of like back so and just, forth. It's kind of like treading water. Always grooving. I like to move. That I, <laughs> I like that yours have the grind plates on them. 
Like mine have the rubber brakes on the back, but I was thinking about like uh, maybe like taking a saw and like sawing those off so they look more like the skater skates, you know? Yeah, but you don't want to mutilate your blades like that, all right? Okay. Like maybe okay. maybe like later on you and I could talk. All right. Yeah. I can show you, I can show you some cool like modifications you can you make. You gotta while respect the blade. It's, right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's penultimate. How yeah. about uh, what do you have on you? Um, well, so I just kind of brought with me what I always have on me. Um, I have my pocket notebook, um, which is college ruled, obviously. Um, and uh, I have a number two pencil. And with that, I have some of the uh, additional like eraser caps, like in multiple different colors. But you know, yeah, I hate it when the eraser like gets worn down, and then you like the metal scratches the paper. So I keep those with me, and then I have a uh, a little pencil sharpener to go around with that. So. Perfect. I'm stuck here with an Ed. <laughs> I, just, I, you guys were planning to like enter the store when you came here, right? No one thought to like. You bring anything to get inside? I just kind of like oh, stumbled uh, over here. Do you, well, do you have something? I mean, no, well, I mean, you used oh, to work me, here. Do you have like a key or something? No, like, I have a hacky set. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just in case there's time. Do you uh, play it back at the same time? I never have. Okay. It's kind of like the Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tonight might be the night. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I got my blades. I've got uh, my trusty Game Boy Color uh, with a copy of Pokemon Blue, which if you're into Tamagotchi, you should really check this out. It's pretty Only sweet. Only yellow. What's up? Yellow. I don't know if that's in, that's in that development. Yet? Wait. <laughs> when did Pokemon Yellow come out? This yellow. whole night is going to be, was that in the future? <laughs> if Pokemon Blue was out, I mean, I know in Japan out. they had green, but what's this? <laughs> Are you serious? When did Pokemon Yellow come out? I think Pokemon Yellow came out like last year. Like, Last oh, year. No, you <laughs> no, it was. We'll find out later. Uh, chat, if you want to go ahead and let us Chad, know. When yeah. come out? Uh, when or John, if you just want to Google it. You know what year everything <laughs> came out. Yeah, this is this is not far enough back <laughs> that all of us can easily distinguish between. You're like 20 years off. It's 2015. No, Pokemon yellow? yellow? No. Pokemon yellow. No. No, 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 no. no. Okay, cool. the yellow for Game Boy Color. The yeah. original Pokemon that's, Yellow cartridge. That's, it was re-released on the on the eShop maybe yeah. in 2015. I'm not that. <laughs> Come on. I played this as a child. Also, I have a copy of Green Lantern Volume 3, Issue 51. Uh, debut appearance of Kyle Rayner as Green Lantern. Um, but why'd you bring that with you? 98. Always bring 98. It with me. So <laughs> it's I just have it already. You do you have a I brand got new <laughs> was it, hold banking? On. Oh. Was it holiday season 98? Yeah, was it before oh, autumn? Oh, this is autumn. Because <laughs> we know that this Pope, is important. We know the real release. sticklers. Maybe folks. we've been reading about it in Nintendo Power, but it has not yet. Uh, so regardless, uh, Harper, you will have. Pokemon Yellow experience. We just want to find out if you got an advanced copy or not. That's what we're really. I really want to know. <laughs> um, oh but my God, no, I don't think we can break Pokemon the lock. But there is there is a window that these. always sticks that like you, we could never keep it closed. So uh, you also have the floor map because oh. that's been unlocked thanks to. Uh, and you know exactly where we're going. Also, I brought this. I don't know. If <laughs> Was that, was that in the comic? Did you just put it? Was it in the comic? Were you using that as like a bookmark or something? What's up? Oh no! I like took this off a bulletin board before uh, I got fired. You got fired. <laughs> well, no, I didn't get fired. I got let go because oh. the business shut down. But essentially, I got fired. Oh, sorry. What's your name again? Uh, uh, everyone calls me Beamer. Beamer, Be. That's gonna be difficult. All right, Beamer. <laughs> Beamer. Why? You can call me like B. The B Man or. B stick or I'm something. Oh, I'm gonna call you B stick. B stick? Yeah. B stick or B sting. Word. You know, float like a butterfly. Sting <laughs> like a bee stick. Like a stick. <laughs> 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 cool. uh, yeah. As we all know. Yeah, but like this is just kind of like we use this just to know like where the layout and when we were directing customers to like the different areas of the store. So it's, it's just kind of like the genre um, well, stuff. Well, it used to be in the store. It seems really big for a VHS store. Oh, well, there were a lot of VHSs. Yeah, but, I mean, it seems very large inside. Yeah, it was there a were a great lot. store. And how yeah. did it, yeah, how did it close down if it was such a, like, you know, a paragon Mystery. of... Mystery. Yeah, the, the guy wonderful. who owned it closed it. <laughs> so so you said Sorry. that mm -hmm. uh, there's a window that sticks open? Yeah, you just got to know how to, like, hit it in order to deal with the latch. Do you guys want to try to Fonzie the window? Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Of course. So, so no, we're gonna go in the front ways, even though there's a sticky window. Uh, so in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you are uh, going to 
Enter the room. That's the window is by the film school room. Film school. The film school room. It's the Sorry. Room. <laughs> Collection for smart film watchers. Huh, it's so like all the Criterion stuff. Film still. school. <laughs> okay. Do they have Criterion VHSs? They at, at that time, I think that they had Giannis laser discs. And I, I mean this. That's an actual <laughs> answer. That's well, an actual obviously answer. Giannis is the thing, but oh yeah, laser. I think discs. it was just laser. I do because it would Criterion's a DVD thing. I don't do, think. It was, do they have I'm, bootleg laser discs? <laughs> so that's but that's yeah. So does this store have it? No, because those are all real movies. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so there's one who would like not. to. Video Store Cowboy, how perfect is that? Thank you so much. Thank you. Video Thank you. Store Thank what does it you. read? It means they brought their folks like into our They pulled books. a Hall and Farkas. <laughs> <laughs> their their people dove into a pool of our people, and now it's all the same people. <laughs> so I, I forgot your character's name already. <laughs> uh, Dean funny. Damson. He's Dean. Dean it's Dean. Dean. It's Dean. It's Dean. Dean. That's two on the nose. He's an elected official. Dean list kind <laughs> yeah, of thing. Yeah, he's like he's kind of like the boss of like sophomore year. I think. Oh, stop! No, <laughs> no. I just I want so oh, like God. when I see people having a conflict, I just think that I can help, and so it's my responsibility to teach people how to to be boring. Really, you're being very boring. Well, I mean, you know, that's not like how I would put it, but you know, I. <laughs> and as this is happening, you guys approach the window. <laughs> Uh, who would like to try to Fonzie the window? I mean, I, I feel like I have some insider knowledge on where to Fonzie. Yes, but also he's you're on rollerblades. I would like to, but I'm, gonna, but I'm often on rollerblades. Is there going to be stairs? And he's going to have to like, flop, flop up and down the stairs? On the floor map, I would point out there are two stairways. Oh my, oh my gosh, I need to change my favorite 90s movie again. It's Airborne. Okay, oh. got that out of the way. Okay, um. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's go and roll against each other. This is our first roll of the game. Okay. Um, we're starting to kick off the mechanics of how we're going to do this. Just so you know at home, this is super, super homebrew. And we are kind of, we, uh, I augment the system I use for our podcast. Thank you for yeah. questing to try this out. If, you, if it works and if you like it, I want to let you know it's yours. So we'll be exploring it. If we run into any problems with it, we'll just discuss it as, uh, as a bunch of friends. Uh, but follow along because this is the, you just feel free to take this and run with it. So right now can to I, see if this is possible, we're okay. going to go against each other. But uh, first Holland has more I, people to I, bring. No, I just want to, I would just, okay. <laughs> Ha. <laughs> okay. Popular girl, Holland Farkas. Uh, uh, I regret it. I always say, <laughs> I always say something at the beginning that just is a running joke about, and then I never. We love uh, you. We love you, I Holland, was gonna, just like everyone else does. Mm -hmm. uh, can I can I roll to see if he uh, falls on his ass? Yes. He, you're on the, the way? contested roll. <laughs> yeah. No, you can be the contested. Roll. I just just for fun. He can still open the. Here's what's gonna happen. So see. you're we're gonna roll against each other okay. to see if you open the window. Okay. Then we're gonna roll each, uh, against each other to see if you uh, whether you succeed or fail uh, fell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. That so sounds this, fair. The first and second roll of our game here. All right, here we go. I got a three. I got a seventeen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And now, Hall, let's roll against each other. I got an eight. 19. So here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I played over to the window. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just like three in the upper left. One, two, three. And then you just elbow it on the right. And as I do that, I totally am trying to impress everyone. I overbalance my, my skates just start like slap sticking out from underneath me. And then I just land on my ass, like with my skates in the air. And I'm like, all right, uh, <laughs> that was, uh, I immediately what rush over to help, uh, try to help you up. I, I, oh, I, uh, hey, thanks, try, Yeah, can I just try and do the same thing he did? Sure. I, I <laughs> stare over you and I'm like, you should have normally done that from the inside. Huh? No, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I forgot, because it's normally, yeah, it's the inside. So it's the other angle. Yep. It's the British version, if it's sort of like <laughs> Yeah, it's on the other it's side, yeah. Side. yeah. It's a, that's a joke. All right, go ahead, and let's roll against each other. I got a 19. Aw, 13. Unfortunately, so it so does not open. And I just tried it, like, no, he said the other side, and yeah, I try it. So. Great, let's roll against <laughs> each other, here we go. I got a 12. <laughs> Is it, so yeah, one, two, three, and then elbow. <laughs> It's, it's I, R. You did the metric one, two, three, and that's yeah. what it was. One, yeah, two, the SI one, two, three. Queen, seven. Wait, I don't even know. Ours is divisible by four <laughs> and three and six. Yeah, that's. Uh, okay. Um, are we uh, in the Midwest by chance? I'm gonna say. 
the feel of the Midwest. Okay. Uh, wh uh, why do you Why do you ask? I want to know if there's storm windows with the little rain well that you like, kind of pop down in anywhere along the building that are designed to prevent flooding. I, you know, also I think we're gonna have to say um, I, as much as I want to not region lock it. I, it's very feasible we're in the Midwest because there is a, as you know, a basement in the v in this last VHS it's store, which would not be allowed in California because of earthquake laws. So, yeah. all right, since we have to, all right, let's all say right. the Midwest. Uh, I'm looking for, I want to like scan the immediate area for a storm window, an alternate okay. window. Great. Uh, let's roll to see if you find one. What did you get? A six. Seventeen. Whew. Uh, wow, this not is built to code. <laughs> not built to code, okay. but uh, uh, note it. Note it that this wasn't built to code. Hmm. Some contractors were not. Did we? Yeah. Did we want to go in the front ways? Is that be easier at this point? The door is locked. It might but, have been four on the top right, and then two elbows to the left hand side. I do not recall how to get through this window. <laughs> this might not even be the correct. I say we said screw it and we all got to IHOP. I went there for the first time last week and it was really yummy. It's fun. Oh, sorry, you Wolf mostly Pabst. just smoked, right? Um, you yeah, and you had a lot of black coffee, but I like the Wait, I like the raspberry syrup. So there, there's 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 a basement though, right? I don't there know. is there is a basement. Mm -hmm. Uh, that I'm, I'm basically, I'm just looking, I'm looking up and down the building. I look down and I see like, there's like a basement hatch. Um, is that what a storm door is? I think oh. that's. Uh, yeah, so yeah. that's what you're saying. But because but I didn't know as the GM. You said storm there's also window. yeah. So there's we were looking for storm. Hatches. I was looking we for looking storm for... windows. No, no. So what those are the ones window? where it's like the corrugated metal in like a horseshoe shape, and you can jump down to like your navel, and then there's a window, and there's like gravel on the bottom, and possums get stuck in there, <laughs> and then like, you look through the window while your dad gets the possum out wearing big gloves. <laughs> yep. You know what I'm talking about. I know about. what you're talking you about. You lived in Illinois. No, you yeah, know exactly, what I'm yeah, talking exactly. about. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Palatine possums. <laughs> Let me tell you. There is so, a you were in Palatine? Palatine? Mm -hmm. No shit. Why do you? Wait, where are you is... from? No, my friend lived there. Uh -huh. So I Go was in friend. Palatine. And, okay. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Wow. We'll talk this about. Is that's hilarious. Thing. McHenry County as well. <laughs> angry, angry geese. A very angry the geese. Angriest geese. The angriest right. geese. Oh, go. New Jersey so, has such all a weird thing. Well, <laughs> so, uh, this is off the This is, and by the way, if you're like, uh, what's the what's the role of an RPG? It's to it's to get to know your friends in real life. So Aww. that's really what. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so you want to check for a for basement yeah, doors? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking of like the the big metal. Yeah, like Twister, mm -hmm. which we can reference because it's '97. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, all left. we just keep going back to the judges. Survey says we are in the clear. All right, twist. This is the most you wake up in a tavern opening I've ever done for a game. Like, but, 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 but if, it, if it is Midwest, there would definitely be some sort of uh, uh, storm hatch type basement thing because there are. Tornadoes, twisters in the Midwest. Yes. Yeah. That's where they are. Let's roll against to see if there's um, basement doors. Oh, okay. If you want to roll a d hundred. <laughs> <laughs> What you get? Oh, eight. I got a three. Yeah. And so there's a basement. Yep. Uh, uh, Award-winning author. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's just who you're named after. Harper Collins isn't an author. It's a publisher. First of all. It's, it's a publisher. <laughs> which, I do know this because people have made right. my name before. I, but if you're going to mock me, you no, know, you're right. At uh, least do it correctly. Yeah. Uh, weird. Some people mock your name because of a book. <laughs> Oh, no. Is there a particular reason? Is there a particular reason why that's a sore spot no, it's for you? Perfectly fine. Hermione? If anything, it's a sore spot because her first name is my last name and I'm going to be going like this the entire <laughs> time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. that just <laughs> occurred to you. <laughs> that just occurred. Maybe you guys are related. I don't know how names work. So you <laughs> I am so so you <laughs> She's fucking losing it now. Um, <laughs> my name is Holland Farkas. <laughs> <laughs> Farkas. Farkas right. Farkas right. This is so wonderful. You open the basement. Yes. Why do you uh, tell us there's a basement? The basement doors. Oh, there's spiders down there. <laughs> That's where you keep the spiders? <laughs> Some of the previous order kept the spiders. Yeah. 
<laughs> did it start as like a, I'm going to make an arachnophobia joke, so check me on this. Did it start as like a... I think you're going to clear. What about, what about, what about... Oh, yeah, way clearer on that. That was like part of the reason, I don't think. I have like no sense of time. Um, so it's, it's is okay. it like part of the experience where everyone wanted arachnophobia and you just put them in the basement and said, go at? No, he just was kind of like a weird guy who kept spiders in jars. Oh, they're in jars. In jars? Well, yeah, how else would you keep spiders? In jars? Well then, yeah, no, I'm no. breaking into a creepy no, 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 basement a right movie. now. No, I'm talking about your basement here. Oh, jars. Yeah, that's what I said. Jo as opposed I thought you jaws? said jaws. <laughs> no, I heard jaws. 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 I heard jaws. jaws. Spiders jaws. in jaws. Jaws. Because there were no spiders in jaws. Correct. As far as we know, there might have been many. So there's so. spiders <laughs> in this basement. Yeah, that, well, yes. Uh, and I'm, we don't have to roll against that. That's canon. <laughs> uh, but just so you know, the, uh, uh, I'm going to say uh, uh, to sacrifice, so just so we can work this out, there, the lids have holes. That's where the spiders live. It's a rehabilitation center sure. for the spiders. I am fucking losing it. It's so, not even an hour in. I can't stop laughing. Everything so, is amazing. Uh, you, so the doors are open now. You, there's now an entrance into the last VHS store. Would you, would you care to enter the basement of the VHS store? Yes. I go. Wonderful. Yeah. I follow her. So you wander in. I'll go after Hermione. Okay. I'll, I'll follow up the rear. <laughs> and you hear the, the skates, right? Like, <laughs> I'm pretty good at navigating stairs. <laughs> <laughs> clunk, clunk, clunk. Oh, boy. So you get down into the dusty basement. It's been, it looks like it's been 15 days <laughs> where no one's been down there. It's Gosh, no one's dusted in here for 15 days. <laughs> At least. There are boxes of old movie posters. There are cases of uh, video games, like 90s video games. But oh, the so, games so have been pulled out of, it's like the cartridges aren't there, it's just the games, or the game boxes. Okay. Um, and there are a handful of uh, TVs, TVs around with some VHS players as you enter. And as you go in, the basement doors slam shut. Uh, it doesn't normally do that. I grab onto Hermione's elbow, like, way I too tight. I elbow him away because all I'm thinking of is spiders. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just hold on. Hold Herman, on. Hold on. Does it go? I think Hermione has a lighter, so you should probably. Is that, I don't she know totally just. Give up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brings out. Well, well, she freaks out for a second. She's like, "Wait a minute." Goes in, picks out her lighter, and goes to the room. You're looking around, and there are boxes of old bootleg horror films. Old horror films. Why do they keep them in the basement? Right. Like this faded, faded old horror films. Like when VHS was like a new thing was like first released. It was like first prints. Oh shit. Um, because you uh, have knowledge of this area, yeah. I'm gonna ask you, B6, to roll a D10 <laughs> for me. <laughs> I went through all the trouble of coming up with a nickname, and you guys were just gonna change it on me. Like, <laughs> you did specifically. You came up with it. It's beast stick now. <laughs> I rolled a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wonderful. So here's how this game is going to play. I'm intrigued by what just happened. Oh, I think so I know, worried. and that's amazing. So that's a brilliant system. One of the TV screens flickers on. I grab Hermione's elbow again. <laughs> Spider! <-Man! laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dean, Dean, I'm you sorry. Have to control yourself because we're British and we're not that way. We I, don't do the touchy thing. But also, it's all right, man. Just, I pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> It's okay, mate. It's, no, it's totally, it's totally my fault. You know, I know everyone needs their own personal bubble, and that's something I know, and, I need and to... that was scary, and I, I, I actually, I hurt my finger um, uh, because it's holding a lighter for so long, so I take it off. Ah! Ooh, and so you drop the lighter, and just really quickly, out of game. I don't, I don't drop it, but I, I kind of take my hand yeah. away, because right. like my finger, so it turns yeah. black again. Perfect. And I go, D! <laughs> don't do it. Well, the TV screen's on, so, like... At least there's like that soft gray glow. Right. <laughs> I take Dean's shoulder and put him very specifically in front of me. 
and I just hold on to you. And I just put my hands on top of your hands on this my shoulder. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. What's happening? And on the TV screen, a shape starts to form. And the shape starts to become clearer and clearer in the static. And it's almost as if they're moving the static, as if it was physical, uh, like l like little floating beams. <laughs> Moving forward, and the figure you see is uh, now. Here's the thing you rolled a d10, yes. and you got a seven. Correct. I had a list of classic universal movies. The seventh in this list was uh, The Mummy, the 1932 oh. Mummy starring Boris Karloff. Okay, now legally, I'm not going to allow us. <laughs> no, I, now, with my legal degree, I I'm not gonna like poltergeist thing, and I was like fucking peeing myself. Uh, so, I, and, was that in the I think it was 90s. No, it was 80s. That was before. That was before. So it, it's still, it's Steven still legal. Steven Spielberg yeah. produced still legal. because he had a baby. Uh, I just read a Steven Spielberg movie, so I was very excited was to like, share that information. That's a very specific <laughs> thing. Uh, so what, here's how we're going to just go from room to room and fight these monsters, folks. I want each of you to pitch a legally distinct bootleg version of the mummy. The 1932 Mummy. It could be the first thing that comes to your brain, and you're gonna just just shout it out, and then as a table we're gonna decide what we like the best, and that's gonna be the bootleg monster and the bootleg film we encounter. John Leguizamo is the mum. <laughs> oh, so we've got John Leguizamo's it's, The Mum. Which is actually like a dead mother who is very mean in Britain. The Wonderful. Mom. She's the mom. She's the mom. I'm gonna go dust ghoul. Dust ghoul? That's yes. like so. You don't have yeah. to have uh, Love it. A, like an elevator pitch or anything, but if you want to, you can also attach any plot. It's image. basically exactly the mummy, but it's Turkish. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. You Loosely translated, it's <laughs> dust ghoul. Uh, dust ghoul. John and Joan Cusack <laughs> are working together in a, in a medical gauze factory <laughs> when there is an explosion binding them both together in a mummy-like costume, but legally distinctive, and then they have to uh, a search for a cure to their curse and also for love in... Hopefully not with each other. <laughs> They're playing cousins What's again. What's the title? So. Yeah. Uh, the I title is... I can't remember this title. Um, <laughs> Well, so my title originally was going to be Bandage Man, but since he's going with the bandages, maybe there's like a... Uh, uh, Band-Aid Man. Bandage Buddies. You have all the Bandage Buddies. Bandage Buddies. Bandage Buddies. Not okay. to be confused with Bondage Buddies. No, that's different. <laughs> different also guys. starring you won't. John and John. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you won't confuse. If we, yeah. if we don't fight the Cusacks by this three episodes <laughs> over, we have failed. I'm people. getting the feeling we're going to keep bringing it up. The Cusacks are going to happen. <laughs> Uh, and then what is your title and or pitch? Oh crap, I just gave him my title. You could um, also have a competing film. That's so my, film, like... my film is just Bandage Man. It was the, the prequel to Bandage Buddies. And originally it was just a standalone film. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it did come first though. It was, it was produced as a standalone. It was like a Cloverfield situation where they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just throw yeah, it into they, this. They, they yeah. made it, but they, they, they didn't have a big name attached to it. They thought that the premise was going to sell the movie. Uh, <laughs> but it didn't. So then they basically remade it like five years later, but mm. made it into a buddy comedy and put the Q sacks there. So Bandage Man <laughs> fell to the wayside. <laughs> So Bandage Man is like the shelled version, still produced, yeah. but like that yeah. script sat no on a shelf. One, yeah. Well, no, I mean, they, they made the movie, no one saw it. Okay, so got just, it. They were able to remake it pretty much immediately. And no one knew. And, no and the Cusacks were like, yeah, that was the real winner. <laughs> Let's go back and do that one again. Well, they saw something then. Somewhere yeah. in the apex of their career. They, they saw like... a cheap property <laughs> <laughs> that had sets. Uh, great. As a table, let's decide, and if we can't, I'll roll for it but I want us to work together as a creative team to form this story. So which of these bootleg films do we want to fight first? I very much enjoyed the m mysterious mediocrity of this prequel to a John Bandage and Joe yeah. <laughs> movie. Like, it's a pretty yeah. good start. It's they a very good start. No name attached to it. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is a complete <laughs> no name. They just, they I want to fight creepy Turkish uh, ghouls. 
Like you that wanna, sounds amazing. You what, if see, what if we so said what if we said Bandage Man was Turkish? It's like a foreign. It was like a foreign film. That Ooh, we can. Found. We can do anything. A sort of let the right on. one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let which, me in, which neither of which, those exist yet. Well, oh, <laughs> which we can't reference. <laughs> Wonderful. Let me check in my notebook if we can do that. Unfortunately, you know, I'm just kidding. Oh, no! <laughs> I need a uh, yeah. from earlier. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, I forgot we had the rewind. It's not it's okay. We're doing fine. <laughs> you guys can, yeah. Yeah, we rewind trying to break into Actually, the window. Actually, we want to do the window, so let's. Uh, <laughs> you guys got it. Oh, but he no fell one's off his <laughs> Many times. Uh, perfect. I think we tried four times. So I think four of us tried that. It's too many we... times. This is a lot. Let me just slide up my little super hmm. fancy. Uh, I'm gonna call it. Uh, does this have a name, by the way? The Kindle. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I was gonna throw so forth. Uh, Amazon made it. <laughs> I was gonna throw for. I was gonna does call Amazon it Glitch from yet? Reboot, but uh, I think Amazon does exist, but they only they sell, sell books, books at this point. Yes, online. Yes, online. Yeah. So if you don't want to go to a store, what you can do is you can go onto the internet. You can use your AOL preview disk. <laughs> And you can um, call the wanna internet. Want to know what my AOL screen name was? Yes, I do. Hall Far Five. Hall Far Five. Hall Far Five. Because I was five. And Hall Far Five. You, you were five? five? I was five. Here, do you need a pencil? I'm going to give you a point of, in, of inspiration for that. You get a re-roll. Not a rewind, but a re-roll for sharing that information. Hall because that was, that's the best aim name I've ever heard in my entire life. My mom made it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you earned that point of inspiration. It seems like a person's name where they're like... Hall Far Five. Yeah, like... Oh, I'm calling for Hallfar. It's Hallfar here. Hallfar five. <laughs> Hold for Hallfar five. And you, just, you just get like a whole bunch of texts. You're just like, who the fuck is this person? So it was like, yeah. Hallfar. Out of uh, sifting through this physical matter, reaches out a hand covered in gauze bandages. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, I light up my lighter again, because light it on fire. <laughs> it's only a Wait, hand. hold on, it's just a, it's just a hand. Like, maybe, like, we don't know this is, a, like, a bad... <clears throat> Another hand comes out. Okay, I mean, he's aggressive with the hands, but it doesn't necessarily mean, like, he's, like... She's just backing away. Uh, first so, contact, first wait, contact. Uh, wait, maybe, maybe it just wants a snack. I a head snack. emerges. Oh, covered I, in bandages. Great, great. So I have like six, what if I give it one of my airheads? Can I give it an airhead? Whoa. <laughs> I mean, you can pull it's the airhead out. It's not even out yet. It's it's out. Out. Take something to piece it. Uh, I think um, I'm having like a, a stroke here. Have an airhead. The Strange upper half creature. of this <gasps> bandaged creature emerges and it says, Mahaba. I am in bandages. <laughs> and clamors oh, out. Is that it's English. Uh, that we should Turkish? move. We should move. And uh, back up, back up, luckily back up, back up. for this creature, there's a bandage also covering the mouth. So pretty easy to dub over <laughs> no, no. Uh, for the rest of this fight. Uh, I want to roll that you have to speak in Turkish, but with subtitles. Great. No dub. How do we do that? Do you speak Turkish? No. I didn't know. Six? You rolled a six. I didn't know you were from Palatine. I mean, geez. <gasps> Nine. Nine. Oh. Thank goodness. Battle of the curvy circles with little uh, tails. So, um, so no subtitle. This is a dub, unfortunately. I know, as a Cowboy Bebop fan, I get it. But, uh, 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 too much, you guys. I'm going to die. Oh, right? man. So, uh, when did Cowboy Bebop come out? I think we have Toonami by now. Oh, I think. Mm. Oh, that's a good question. Is Japan I, don't, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we do have tsunami at this point. <gasps> These are. Do we have Sailor Moon? Yes. Yes. I, I believe so, yes. Cowboy Bebop came out in 98. Oh, so Ooh. just but so do you we are have really it in cool the States now. yet? Just, yeah. I got an advanced copy. I could have gotten Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it was one or the other. I could have gotten Pokemon Yellow, but. We uh, each get one. Really? Oh, really? Mm, so I'm already watching <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> you're like in yeah, you're deep like, with that DBZ. Yeah. You're like bringing me into the room sometimes. So I'm just like, this is ridiculous. What is this? <laughs> well, you don't have to watch it with me, but <laughs> you, this is what I'm watching. <laughs> this is like the one thing my character puts his foot down on. It's like, like 9 p.m. <laughs> 9 p.m. It's tsunami time. Mom knows it. <laughs> Steph, who's now in England, knows it. 
And Hermione, you're gonna know at 9 p.m. is too time. I'm just like he's 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 really into this cartoon. It's just like it's like more adult than like cartoons in America. You know, like cartoons in America are like all for kids, and like this is like really too actually for the most part. Yeah. Dean, valid point, but this dude in bandages. And now it's (laughs) (laughs) it is now crawled out of the TV. I, I moved to actually just light it. Right, light it on fire. I already have the lighter. There you I've go. Already done Using it, so I just it. already go for it. Perfect. Uh, God, I'm so bold. <laughs> I like this new side of Hermione. Let, I'm gonna say that the ban- what are we calling this creature? Band- bandage, bandage man. Bandage man. man. Uh, something feels weird about that. I'm gonna be honest. But bandage man. Uh, I don't know what, what is bandage it man. It sounds like Turkish? you're saying bondage man in Wisconsin. <laughs> bandage man. <laughs> oh, I just went down to the shop to get a bandage man. Uh, I, you know, uh, I'll look it up in a sec. All right. Okay, so let's roll against each other to see if uh, the bandage man notices. Oh, right, right, right. Wait, just uh, notices. Okay, just notices? Just notices. Okay, so let's roll against each other. my Siggy's are a D10. 13. I got 12. Mm. Yes! Ooh. Look at that. He Clutch. does not notice me just like walking <laughs> forward and being like, Mm-mm. Yeah, and what is he up to? He really bandage, hasn't done anything. So yet. he looks at you two and holds out his hands while you're sneaking up, and the bandages are starting to sort of like Dark Man unravel oh, and no. like curl towards you guys. Oh, no. But very slowly. Uh, uh, and then so you light D10. it. And you have a deep. Wow, you were, that was a smart idea. And just so uh, you folks at home watching, if someone wants to hold up their character sheet, just so you understand. Let's all do it. Everyone here. Oh, I didn't write mine. <laughs> Uh, they all have dice slots for <clears throat> weapons and tools, and they've got a handful of uh, stuff that they brought with them that they mentioned at the top of this episode, as well as spells that and spells and other magical goodies that they'll get later. And so they threw some of those into their dice slots, which means that those items they have now have numerical value for hits. It's, it's hit stuff. I'm actually you, this is you guys know this. We're all <laughs> we all like RPG. Yeah. So uh, I am. That's why I sat here. D10, make it happen. Oh no, you just roll. This is your damage roll. Really? Yep. Oh! Oh! He didn't know. He's too busy. Eight! Mm. Fuck you, mummers. <laughs> I bet it's Sean Leguizamo under there. He can touch. <laughs> Hold on. It's actually, since it's the dub version, I want to roll that I'll it's John it. Liguizamo who got the voice acting gig to dub over. Get the voice Dan. acting gig, but not. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, in addition Why to. Why would you pay SAG rates yeah. uh, for on set when you can just have John Liguizamo for 15 minutes? Exactly. It's just like yeah. in the mum. Okay, uh, what'd you get? That's a nine? Oh. I got a four. It is John Leguizamo, awesome. It's John Leguizamo, hot off Romeo <laughs> yeah, plus Juliet. Yeah. <laughs> this is his follow up. Like just rope, was actually in the valley shooting and then just went down, down Magnolia. He probably got uh, them both at the same time and he like did them both at once and he's like, man, I hope one of these pans out. He's like, oh, I really, oh, Martin, <laughs> was, a favor, I'll do it. He was already in a bunch of shit, wasn't he? Yeah, the pest the had pest already come had out. Come out. Yeah. He Super was, Mario Brothers. Super yeah. Mario Brothers. Uh, um, what was, uh, when was, he was in Two Wong Fu, wasn't he? Yes. yes. And Chu Wong Fu is a bit earlier. That would be 96, Priscilla also? maybe? Priscilla? Green Desert Priscilla. was John Lee was on Priscilla? I don't think well, so. I don't, I don't know. Think he was okay. In that. okay. I think we're thinking. Maybe he was. Yeah, but <laughs> Leguizamo was, was, was good in his career at this time. But you know, you can't. You can't a couple of but also, bucks. it's Liguizamo. He's like, turn. He's like, it's Liguizamo. Yeah, He's gonna yeah, do a yeah. voice acting gig for Bandage do, Man, the Turkish do, film. You gotta do the projects you love, your passion projects, and then you gotta do the ones that pay the bills. Exactly. Yeah, both. All of the above. And this one, he and thought was gonna one was pay the, the bills. Yeah. <laughs> this bill paid for something. <laughs> so you light the Bandage Man on fire, mm-hmm. which means now the Bandage Man is just so now these like snake little tendrils uh, are suddenly uh, alerted and like are falling back. Now we have to hear like John Liguizamo's cries of pain. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> they only got the one line for this specific, you know, <laughs> sort of like cheap video game. Anytime it gets hit, it's like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Hot stuff! <laughs> this, what is this hot stuff? And so now, what have we done? This, this bandaged man creature is very much hurt. Would anyone else like to do anything? It's not fully defeated yet, but very much hurt. Um, it's okay. Got two points remaining. Two points of, of health. Uh, all right. So I see him. He's sort of coming at me, mm-hmm. and I'm like now like in complete panic mode. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I can think to do is to grab my pencil mm-hmm. thusly and just swing it down into Bandage Man's 
skull face area. Wow. Yes. And the pencil is my D eight. It's gonna rip right through there, huh? Did not did not expect that level mummy. of violence from from this one. It's a, sh a sheer panic. Move. Mummies aren't hard, man. Like their bones are brittle and stuff. It's just gonna also, a lot of this is the violent cartoons that this <laughs> child has been watching on yeah, a, lot of say, a lot of people say that violent cartoons are like gonna make like kids more violent, but I have <laughs> learned from peer mediating that like as long as you're like uh, engaged in an open dialogue um, with people. People that stab the mummy. I'm gonna uh, stab the mummy. Point, Ian. <laughs> 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 All right. What'd you get? Eight. Eight. Oh crap! You uh, hit it, and the science spell. This is uh, from the film. If you haven't seen it, the science <laughs> spell <laughs> is broken, and the bandage man is shattered uh, because. As you know, when you damage the heart of the bandage man, then which is in his brain, <laughs> which is in his brain, just, just switched them. They switched because it was surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's all, it's all in the movie. <laughs> it's all in the movie. They switched to the surgery. Uh, then he turns back into his original porcelain form. So now he sh he shatters, he falls, and now some things are going to happen. Um, first, you guys will have emotional reactions to it. Second, you're gonna get some weapons, and third, there's Hell going yeah. to be a little bit of a problem that pops up. Uh -oh. But first, let's deal with the what just happened. The bandage man shatters in front of you. All you guys plan to do is just go into the VHS store, and something crawled out of a TV, and it just and this bandage man just shattered. This is the part where I'd say I'm out, but the the, ba the basement door I'm assuming is shut, so I cannot. Just, oh, are you uh, looking up at the basement door? Yeah. Uh, and, like see if it's like there's no basement door anymore. Oh, where oh, it was is now gone. Great. A la, oh my god, oh my god, a la oh a god. script oh and development right now. The, the Matrix. Bloody hell is dude, going on here. Dean, you just murdered that dude with oh, a pencil. Oh no. Is this normal? You lit him on fire. America. No, 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 no. You lit him on fire and then Dean murdered him with a pencil. Oh, and I don't know how I feel about any of this. That was purely a reactionary move, you guys. I, I mean, you did well, so good job. But what the hell is going on? And next time, Dean, flaming bandage is coming towards you. Move away. Uh, oh, away that's true. I mean, yeah. This is probably the worst. I mean, we we got him, so it's fine. But oh, God. Stop oh, God. going towards fine. the flame with wood. Is... You guys, I can't even figure out a way out of here. The porcelain bandages start to, like, shake and rumble. Oh, God. John uh, Martin's boots, I start to stomp <laughs> on those <laughs> as, as you stomp on them, items start to fly out. I so let's start with you, Hermione. Like in Minecraft. <laughs> Which Ow, at this time is uh, is when you go to Michael's and you buy items <laughs> and then you you make a craft and it's yours. Mine, uh, Minecraft. Mine, it's Minecraft. It's mine. Uh, Minecraft is mine. Go ahead and roll a d10. Would you would you for me a please? A d10. A d10. Okay. A two. One two. Wonderful. You get uh, goodness gracious great bolts of lightning. <laughs> And these are, it's a bolt uh, from a knockoff movie called uh, um, Prometheus's Solution. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, the ancient Prometheus Solution. And it's a bolt that allows you to fire lightning. Um, oh. Like, I would, I would describe the lightning shape as scar shaped. For you, yeah, Hermione. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, please. Just just load it on. I'm ready. Uh, and if you're wondering yeah. exactly what's going on here, we have different levels of when we unlock uh, in this game. We get wonderful, amazing things. And you were so kind that we unlocked right. uh, magical weapons for everyone because of your incredible support. So thank you. Thank please you, guys. So you've got that. Please us stuff. Thank you. Uh, please. I'm, con I'm confused. Are we, like, why, are we, like, on something right now? Why is, is magic a, th a thing? Because I don't, that's not a real, I don't under, I don't this understand. This is some Streets of Rage level stuff. This is like, not. she just stomped on this dude's corpse and stuff came out of it. Like, yeah, I'm from the streets of London. Oh, well, well, London sure. town doesn't mess about. I feel when like we get home, I'll show you streets of rage. It's really <laughs> I mean, really. The uh, lightning it's... bolt power. <laughs> well, uh, I, I just hold it in my hand. I have no idea what it is, but I start kicking the rest of the dust over to Dean. Okay, Dean, could you roll a Wait, d10 for me? Hold on. Dean, definitely step on that stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm like very timidly like pushing it away with my heel as she kicks it no, towards me. No, you're timid. Me. You murdered him with it. Well, it took a lot out of me. I rolled a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay. Uh -oh. Interesting. You rolled a d12, but that's okay because it still got a nine. Oh, you rolled a. Oh. That's fine. No, but it's fine. That is fine. a result. Yeah. yeah more. It, really it really stands. doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, again, guys, character voices? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> there's, you... my, there's my D10. Yes, I break character in character. That's how. Uh, you got. You get a magnifying glass that, when held up to an item, once per item, anything, it gives you a little piece of information. Oh, I thought you were going to say a minute bigger. That's so dumb. No, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it does. Um, uh, in terms of optics, as far as you, as, as where you're standing, it is bigger. Just don't, like, it won't work, but it is bigger. That's I like amazing, to, uh, actually. Relative to where you're standing. Yes, yeah. Uh, I like that banana. Now you have a lot of bananas. <laughs> you can share with all of us. Harper, could banana. you roll a D10 for me, please? Uh, with this one. So all of a sudden, just a magnifying glass goes up in your hands. And I'm like, Yeep. She got a glowing lightning bolt. You got a normal magnifying glass. You got a one. A <laughs> one. It's like those mysteries I enjoy so much. You go, Oh, I like this a lot. Okay. Uh, you get a uh, bouquet of sorrow. <laughs> and it's a bouquet where if you hit someone with it, they will be struck by their worst, loneliest Nightmares. Oh God! So I should use that on one of our enemies, right? Uh, it's up to you. <laughs> I'm just like backing away. <laughs> Glowing lightning bolt. Normal magnifying glass. It's not just a That's normal not. magnifying glass. It does stuff. Yeah, check us out. I earned this. <laughs> what kind of stuff does it do, Dean? Does it make things look bigger? <laughs> well, no, it gives me information about things. It's, it's like, tell me about this thing, then. I, I hold my magnifying glass up to her uh, great bolts of fire. It's pretty cool, isn't and, it? Uh, and, and then this voice that only you can hear goes, ha, this item will fire lightning at an enemy. Um, I, I, I'm like possessed by the voice and it comes out of my mouth so open your, open as your mouth. I hear I'm like, Daka! <laughs> Dude! <Dude's eyes. laughs> oh. What the hell? You sounded like the Count from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so <laughs> and also you want to throw your items into your dice slots so you'll give oh them a goodness. specific. Yeah. And I, if you're like, oh, I want that to be a D20 you gotta, and you have a D20 thing already, you got to kick that D20 item out. So you just throw it away. You just gotta. It's uh, yeah, and it becomes just a normal thing you have in your pocket. Okay. You don't have to like discard, discard for forever. Yeah, my my, D20, this my, isn't my lightning infinite. bolt is totally a d20. <laughs> I'm going to fry some bitches with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, now if you could roll a d10 for me. I also got a nine. Great. Uh, I get another magnifying glass? <laughs> so, no, oh, it's it's actually, it's actually, wow. I feel like don't. I feel like that's a bad idea. <laughs> Touch them together. <laughs> Death cross the street. <laughs> legal. Eighties. Legal. Eighties. <laughs> we have to name the date of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we say it. Was it eighty-seven? Eighty-seven. You still get the existed. exact it's same thing, except <laughs> it's <laughs> except it's it a bigger. monocle. Super lame. And it doesn't, it gives you like, uh, this is, since since we have chat about DBZ stuff, uh, I'm gonna say it gives you information about your enemies. Okay. Does he have to wear the monocle? But you'd have to put it on. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a monocle. I got, I got like a tiny magnifying glass. Is it, um. A chain. Is it's, that. Wear it on your face. Um, oh, I don't you think of some kind of movie oh, like half that has like a visor thing like that already in the nineties. There's I mean, got to be something where they have like hackers. An <laughs> Lawnmower no, man. It's like <laughs> Johnny Mnemonic. Johnny oh, Mnemonic. Yeah, see, I was going for something like that, like Neuromancer. Just so you guys, you guys so only got with your rolls, and we just have to let the dice stand. But you guys only got Frankenstein rolls. <laughs> You guys All got Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and Two Son of Frankensteins. Was really hoping we get a Creature from the Black Lagoon thing. I got some cool Dracula and Wolfman ideas, but no, we only got the Frankenstein thing. <laughs> okay. And I maxed out with the bolt right from the get-go. I really did not know what else to do from there. Um, <laughs> so there's like an Invisible Man item we could have had, but the, oh, the dice lie funny. where the dice lie and the dice don't lie. I say skip them and just go on to the next one. Uh, sure. Well, let's here. Let's roll against each other and see if from now on we're gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we have. Tell them what you, you do. You make the rules. Uh, no, Mika Harper. Seven. 
You make the rules. <laughs> I got a six. What's up, bitches? This is my studio. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to Save and Throw Show before? I own this. All so right, Omar. So let's switch spots. <laughs> um, oh I don't know God. anything about movies. Let's talk. Um, yeah, it'd be great. And now, because the wonderful support of incredible folks, and really I do want to take a second to say you guys are just the best community in the entire world. Uh, because you have unlocked this, you, with your stabby abilities, um, are looking down as a porcelain bandaged hand and grabs your ankle. <gasps> and the bandaged man, still with the punctured pencil hole, looks up and says, our plan cannot be stopped. And this porcelain dust blows up at you. And I want Don't you. Don't tell that. Dust ghoul. Uh, <laughs> like, and this is where dust ghoul comes from. And I want you to roll a d10 for the last time that we're going to roll in this room. A d10 at least. Seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back at the mummy. But thanks to our previous rule roll, you are now uh, cursed with a typecast. <gasps> what? Oh, you and the dust, that mummy dust billows up over you. And as it clears, you are a. Uh, and now we're going to do some table pitches really quickly. We don't need plot stuff. But what is a knockoff version, a bootleg version of Creature from the Black Lagoon? Shape of Water. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> Pretty Dave. <laughs> oh, we got Shape of Water, Pretty Dave. Swamp Thing. But... Swamp Thing. Uh, but like if we would like do the hyphen <laughs> differently. Swamp, yeah. swamp Thing. Swamp, swamp Thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's great. So we've got, in the 70s. we've got three of them and then. Um, uh, fish Lips, which is basically Shape of Water. Fish Lips. <laughs> That's what I call it. I'm going to throw forth Lily Pad Lily. Uh, let's decide. Which, as a table, which one we like the fish most? Fish lips. Fish lips? Fish lips. Fish lips. I, mean, fish I see lips. which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I will also go fish lips. Fish I, lips? I got fish, fish lips. lips. And you are turned into the creature from that famous horror bootleg film, Fish Lips. The fish monster. 90% fish, 10% you also have arms. <laughs> Dean! <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Oh, I. Um, and that's it. Wait, and, uh, look, can I look at it with my monocle? Yep. Because I don't think I've realized what this does yet. So, what happens when I look at him with the monocle? So, on? when you put the monocle on, just because let's change it up a little bit, this is not like. So, that was a Dracula voice that came through the, the, the Dean's mouth. You get like a 90s tastic, like a Tomorrowland, like. Yo, so you're looking at this creature right here, which is a reference to the film Fish Lips. It's pretty much you still, but it's still your same old bud, but he's turned into the character Fish Lips. Don't worry, I'm sure when you defeat the next monster, the curse will be lifted. Can I, Radical. Can, I, can I just take a take a picture of this just for posterity? She, yes, yes. 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 Roll. yes. Oh! Uh, uh, yeah, we'll roll the d20. Gene or oh, no, 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 you, yeah, you have an item, right? Oh, yeah, good. Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> Four. So what does that mean? You take a picture. I don't know if Dean's okay, you guys. <laughs> Dean? Yeah, there's no film in here. <laughs> oh, there is! Art, <laughs> uh, what do we saw? Always be picture ready. <laughs> A-B-P-R. A oh my god. Are there jars on the walls? As, There's as oh with spiders. Yeah. Yes, I I go for a fucking jar. Oh no, it's Dean. It's Dean. Oh. It doesn't look like it doesn't he's look like Dean. No, he's cursed. It doesn't look like fucking Dean no, to no, me. No. I don't know what is going on. No, no, the dude in my head just said that we just need to kill him. What is going on? Oh. Uh, Sorry if it's when too loud. You... <laughs> really screechy. Okay, because I, I try to project it out there. When you took a picture. <laughs> Uh, as it's developing, as there's screaming going on and spiders are being freed from their rehabilitation pods, you notice in the back that there's a stairwell going up. Dean, you got spiders on you. Hold on. Oh, don't move. Oh, you're wet. You're wet. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Uh, it, it looks like there's a stairwell.
should, maybe we should just, um, uh, ooh. Oh. Can we like put him on a leash or something? Thank you so much, Von Aether. Yeah, thank you. It looks like if you look if you look behind you, it looks like there's a stairwell up there. So maybe we should either go well, get help for him or. No, I don't, we just I don't. we just have to we have to like kill another thing and then it'll he'll be fine. Yeah, but I feel like we should go find the other thing that we, we have. Yeah, to no, no, let's do it. Uh, uh, in a in a no, panic no, move, I just start like slapping oh, my God, tail God, against God, the ground as loudly as possible. Is this what you? What, do you I, think we turn into fish people and <laughs> for no. fun? What if I give him like a snap? What if I can give him an airhead? You oh. can try. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. Does that have any roll. dice allocation? Uh, yeah, it's my D6. <laughs> so go ahead, roll it. Is there six yeah, flavors? go ahead, roll it. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna two and above, it calms you. Yeah. Can I just okay. roll for flavor? Yeah. Uh, is it four? Yep. This is hard to read. I should have picked a better one. <laughs> so four. So four. Uh, yeah, I'll Which give him uh, blue raspberry. Oh, and you get a blue raspberry and you're calm. It's a, it's I'm, I'm sucking on it with it still on the wrapper. The familiarity of like <laughs> that, of like swimming lessons and like afterwards you would get rewarded by like a 25 cent airhead. Oh, yeah. oh swimming, I was in the pool. I spent a lot of time in the pool. I'm, I'm not so different from a fish. Oh. I still have my hands. Oh. <laughs> I'm 10% hands. <laughs> if, if it was white mystery, I was going to roll for it to make sure that it like didn't freak you out even more. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they just came out. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor is this even? I'm so confused. So. Uh, you are now calm. There's the stairs. Yeah. Uh, some oh of the God. spiders are getting free, and they're just having a little spider party in the corner. Right, we should we should get out of here yeah, 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 as yeah. possible. So if we can head towards that uh, that yeah. stairwell. Yeah, yeah stairs. Happening. It's it's not gonna work. I don't think. <laughs> I don't even know there was film in here. It's probably really old. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to be developing at all. Yeah, yeah. It's just. Like all things, give it time. and then a mummy comes out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Don't so you go up to the stairs, and. You enter into <laughs> the teen live room. Oh no! Uh, but teens live. Yeah. So Not it's like life. it's a dumb joke of they live. But I love they live. I was gonna be one of my kids. Oh. It's in the eighties. Yeah. Teens. But it's like teens live, and it's just like oh, the song, whatever. So I then I see this. It's like radical, dude. <laughs> you know. You know. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, that. I, love, I love that movie. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out. Yeah. Yes. So are they are they, are they are they all secretly teens, <laughs> or is it just they live starring teens? Oh no, this is so the room is just a teen room. There's bean bags oh. and like cool night like <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, like black a Nirvana poster. poster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a public so makeout space. It's a yeah, what we'll never be In the man. Video. That you know. <laughs> It's part yeah. teen, part head shop. <laughs> then, yeah. A beaded curtain that's like a like a weed leaf, but like with oh, a smiley face. Oh, the glow with the dark stars everywhere. Remember yes. those like the shit? Yep, yeah. yep. The, 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 the black, it's also pandering black way too hard to teach. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We walked in there and it's just like, mm. There's like a lot of keep on <laughs> trucking stuff, which is like obviously from the owner's generation and he expects it to translate to like teens nowadays. Yeah. Exactly. So you all, Walk into this room. Roll to see if there's a spider on Dean. Okay. You say there is or there isn't? I say yes. And you got oh, it? 18. Oh, no. I got a 20. Oh, shit. There's no spider on Dean. Spiderless. Well, there's I'm glad I saved my D20 my roll. I got oh. a crit for that one. <laughs> I like just sort there of. There can I'm, never be a spider. I'm just like flipping my gills open and close is like. Kind of like how a dog wags its tail. Yep. I'm like, you know, I've finished swallowing the entire uh, airhead, and I'm like now sort of like getting it. You know. People don't know that when fish get happy, that's that's yeah, what the gills are for. It's not for breathing. They can breathe that any way they want. So, uh, you guys get up there, and this in this like cool teen room, suddenly this VHS tape just like goes into another TV as it clicks on, and. Uh, all the walls are projecting the static that's on the screen. And then this, uh, it, and the image comes on and it looks like the set of the 1990s, and it might even still be going on, but the 1990s Boston, Massachusetts show, Zoom. Zoom. 
but it's legally distinct. So let's just come up. We don't need to come up with pitches. What just the different. Fuck is a zoom? I also. Come on. Zoom. Oh, I'll explain in this. So zoom is like this cool they like. Had a like language. A... <laughs> oh, this thing. Is it, uh... Zoom a zoom. Yeah, the thing? kids where they well, they did like yeah, that. But it they, was like they, a cool '90s like. Ab, it was like the, the Abba Dibba Baba Wabba Wabba Daba Baba Daba, and that was. Yep, <laughs> yep. You're it really was like, selling it for me. Here. <laughs> I'm so down with this. Uh, Mickey Mouse Club, but like. Yeah. But public access Mickey Mouse Club. Public so it was just like, Mickey hey, Mouse you know what's cool? Respect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that's like Deed's favorite show. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so it's not called Zoom. What is the show? Moose. Moose. Mm -hmm. I like Moose. Okay, we've also got Moose. <laughs> the rules. The rules. <laughs> and uh, Nika, do you have any pitches for Zoom? Cool man's kick in corner, which had a problem because I had to change it really quick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, cool man's uh, chillin' corner is was our alternative, and it wasn't much better. <laughs> it was so it, great. It was actually worse than the original show, which was really sad <laughs> because then they like really couldn't keep it. Uh, <laughs> this is that's so perfect, it's so <laughs> wonderful. So we got moves, rules, and cool man's chillin' corner. Uh, what do we want as a table? What are we feeling? I mean, I kind of really like the I rules. I like rules. The, rules. the rules. The rules is great. With a that Z. Sounds, yeah. Just rules. yeah, with a Z, because it's always like, follow the rules. Great. Yeah, and everyone does yeah. like that. <laughs> Make it awkward. Great. The rules. rules. So then the Z. I don't, I'm like trying to do it with my 10 or 20% fish arms. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's very excited. Dean, quit it, quit it. Uh, quit it, Dean. So Dean is getting very strange. This is where things are going to get a little creepy because these three kids pop up and go like, "You know who rules? <laughs> you. Welcome to Rules R with their arms that do the impossible <laughs> shapes of R. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh, no. And they can somehow do it. They <laughs> just have like extra limbs and just like bend. No. <laughs> what in the hell is this? <laughs> Cirque du Soleil doesn't hire kids, so we're on rules. <laughs> Welcome to our trivia game. If you answer five trivia questions correct, we will give you a little bit of background information about what, what, what's going on. But if you answer the questions wrong, you're going to enter a tra tra trap. I set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go projected. to the TV screen to... Oh, shit. I the, tried yeah. to set the it's TV like video on drum. You would have to find the TV station where it's oh being projected. I just, I just light up my lighter and I'm like, I'll do it. I will do I will go in there and I will... What is this? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be like Nick Arcade. I don't know what that is either. Uh, now I'm cool. freaking yep. out. I'm like, oh! Is it like night? What it? Shit! What was the night show? Night, night, night Rider. No, no, no. Nightmares. Night, night. Uh, something. Are you afraid of the dark? No. This Tales is. It's a British show, and it was amazing. It night was, Gallery. No. No, it's a ki it's British kids show. Oh, it's I called don't Nightmare. Know. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Okay. Um, continue. Continue. No, like, like. Oh. Dean, you is get this it. Like right? a show? Oh, okay, that's cool. Like, what, is, what is this? Br ah, British t television program for children. Uh, nightmares. And yeah, it's nightmares with a K. And it was essentially like a blindfolded kid going through VR, and like people Whoa. had a piece of paper, and they were like, "All right, now go right." And it's just like there's a beautiful woman there who tells you a riddle, and it's like all VR. And this kid's just walking. It's the wildest thing to see. And they're always like, "Um, a beautiful." Uh, Se se seven, and they just fail. Like, there's just sad British that children. That is woman. exactly like seven. Nick Arcade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep, we got it. Yeah. We, that's, yeah. uh, and we Nightmare crossed is the yeah. pond. Okay. I didn't realize that concept. <laughs> like Nightmare, then. Yeah, Ex yes. Sure. What you described is exactly that. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's yeah. just... Uh, so... The, Blindfolded children. So the rules, kids. Oh. Uh, by the way, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, uh, Don't spell your names. <laughs> I'm RJ. <laughs> Too late. What's up? I'm Ulysses. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Too long. <laughs> uh, and I'm Lauren Zebediah. <laughs> and together we're rules. Uh, 
and they Zebediah. Zebediah. It's my last name, um, and I'm you... keeping it. <laughs> why are you the only one who has a last name, Sunny? Because R U L, and then we needed that Z. And <laughs> can't the Z be like a dog or something? Can't you have like a, a, a mascot? Ooh, I'm rolling for a virtual <laughs> reality dog whose name <laughs> is uh, Z. Um, Zimmy. Okay, great. Zimmy, I like Zimmy. What you get? Fourteen. What did I get? Oh, I critted <laughs> one. So, so the entire show is dogs. Here's the thing. <laughs> if, either the entire show is dogs, or if you guys win this trivia game, you get a dog, a virtual reality dog companion called Zimmy. Oh, let's let's go for the virtual oh, reality okay, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the Stretch Armstrong <laughs> kids. Let's get him a dog. No. Oh. Oh. Weird stretchy things, or is the dog looking No, the dog. The dog's a totally. We like the dog. dog. It's not creeping us Completely out. Completely standard biological Great. virtual reality dog. Good. Uh, and again, <laughs> here's a. Can girl. anyone else not handle this? I'm going to fucking die. I swear to God. We are always open to fan art. People are uh, watching me like meltdown <laughs> on the show, literally, because everything is incredible. This is oh so. My God. Hey, so. Uh, so again, if you answer, if you get five of our trivia questions right, you guys will get some information about what's going on here. And these like little like virtual reality podiums appear in front of you. There's like impossible virtual reality. It better be international questions because this is fucking rubbish. Oh, there's Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> ah. uh, oh, 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 we we're gonna go all over the place. Good. Uh, and then, wait, wait. but again, oh, if you lose. Fire. You're gonna be stuck in a tr -tr trap, which you're not gonna like. And Zibby goes, Rup! you're not gonna like. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zibby, what? <laughs> and when you get to just, you know, when you get Zibby, Zibby is freed of the curse of having that voice. <laughs> so he you're, looks you're, so cute for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're, you're fighting for it. And if you're just like, yeah, it's a mix of that and, and rewatching some Wishbone episodes. And I was just like, oh dear God. Uh, Sorry. I'm rewatching some Wishbone episodes. Yeah. Is that what you just yeah. said? Yeah. I got my clicker. All right. Yeah, you all have virtual reality clickers. I'm ready. Uh, oh, 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 I got this. Uh, and our teleprompter uh, keeps, keeps popping up with advertisements, so we're just going to have to do this off the cuff. All right. Uh, let's, are you, uh, you can choose from the categories of music, Television. Music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the categories, yeah. Music. Uh, there's just two categories up on the wall. Like, oh no. Now we only get two categories. <laughs> um, I'm trying to convey the importance of like communication and like sharing and things like I that to Hermione. The wall and I'm like, but I just like it's just me doing my gills at her, and it's like the message fine, isn't getting fine, across. Fine, fine, fine. Go on, go on, go on. No, you've already clicked, and if you click you're in it to win it I or am. I want to win it or in it to lose it I am in it to win it or you snarky also jit whoa you call us a small ant <laughs> uh, <laughs> we know the definition of that word <laughs> my parents are from Bedford England uh, that was RJ you sound uh, like an RJ <laughs> And also, I'm sorry about your parents, Bedford's a terrible place to be. It's, um, it's a growing Shut economy. Shut up, what's the question? <laughs> These kids are lame. Yeah. <laughs> so, the We're question is... We're about Bedfordshire, sure, really. The, the song... <laughs> the song... Uh, okay. The song, Shiny Happy People, sung by the band R.E.M., features what other band? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, oh. Uh, lips. If, 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 he, if he can't, can he write it down? Can he still use his pencil? Oh. He has arms! You can still write it. Write the answer. Write the answer. Oh, yes, you can yes, just yes. say it. Write the answer. By the way, you can just shout it. your answer, answers out. We can hear this because it's a crazy haunted TV set. We can hear you. I you don't have to. Oh, no, 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 you should write it. Let, let, let him write it. Let no, him write please don't. Oh. Oh. Say it out loud. No, no, it's cool, Dean. Just write it. Just write it. Yes, he's got it. Okay. I can read it. Yes, yes. Yes, okay, the 52s. Okay. It's the B-52s. Hey, it's, congratulations. It's the one girl from them, I forget. It's just one. <laughs> no, that's fine, that's fine, they didn't ask. You got it right! And then ah, uh, nice. on all your podiums, like, a one pops up. Da ding! Oh, cool. Ooh, congratulations. Okay, congrats, congrats. You're congrats, doing yeah. pretty good okay, so okay, far. Okay. Let's oh, see how well no, it's yeah, going. I gotta keep my hand on the buzzer, because oh. you never know. <laughs> 
It's pretty great. It's fairly it's coming. Fair, it's, it's fairly it's coming. It's coming together. It's, it's, it's I don't know together. if it's going to come out sad, all the way because looks, every time I try and use this film, it doesn't actually work you're properly. You're very picturesque. But you're all, <laughs> we have a bit. We have it's it. like a Florence on the Machine album. <laughs> <laughs> we can't reference that. <laughs> all right. They're going to be great, okay, though. Okay. You have an, you, uh, four more to go, and we you win. It. Or five more to go, and you lose. All right. Who uh, now? Your cho- your categories are, if I remember correctly, music, television, geography, mm. and potpourri. So two categories. <laughs> What's a potpourri? Oh no. Uh, okay. <laughs> My dolls are going crazy. From <laughs> 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 Jeopardy. All right. It's like the it last can, one on Jeopardy. It can be any question. It can be anything. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. But I already selected it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Potpourri. It could be anything. You've got to help me out with this. I have no idea what a potpourri is. answer. Uh, you, wanted an, you wanted an international question? Sure. Yes. Oh, well, yes. You're in luck because this is an international question Uh-oh. considering the United States of America is in the world. <laughs> hockey. The, uh, hockey. Uh, hockey. International. The... Uh, the Stanley Cup winning hockey team, the Sharks, are from what city? <laughs> Beep. Oh, I wouldn't know this. I'm going to be it? in character and I'm not going to know. There's no, no way. Oh, it's. This, Dean seem it, to know. Isn't it this city? Can you write it? You, would, you might know. Yeah. It's the city that we're not in currently because we're in the Midwest. Dean. Yeah. Are this... they even around then? Hmm? The sharks. Oh. Oh. The yeah. sharks were around in '98. Team yeah. seems pretty. Sure. Ding, that's a two. And out of game, just really quickly. Yeah, because then what games did I go to? Because <laughs> 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 I don't know what else is in Palatine. Ah, I'm yeah, a bagel store. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, but you shouted that. Yeah, game so yes, that's correct. Did you You get you correct. Fifty twos. San Jose. Did you spell it wrong? San Jose. San no San Jose is our answer. Congratulations, you got two points correct. Nice. Oh man, you guys are in the lead, but also this could be leading to your doom. And uh, uh, Ulysses goes. We don't need to goes. Give me the equip. Can we just? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jesus. All right. The categories I are. I will turn you to fire. Can't <laughs> Still got my lighter. Oh, this is my lighter now. Uh, it's actually a pencil sharpener. Good for you. And the dog goes. Ah, oh, we'll see about that. You oh, first, Zimmers. <laughs> so now your categories Zim- are, Zims. if I remember correctly, music, television. Let's do television. G- okay. Or what music about music television, television geography? Like, like MTV, music television? Is that a category? Yeah, can we stop them in between categories? <laughs> oh, sure. Television? Yeah, there's, you know what? Yeah, there's a, you know what? Yeah, sure. There's diagonals. Do you want music Look, television? the answer is... Yes, roll, roll for music television. <laughs> hold roll on, for it. hold I'm on. A, yeah, I'm what a, about no. television geography, though? Oh, but they're not next to each other, so you, you oh, it has, okay. it, there's, mm-hmm. there's slashes, unfortunately. Okay. The categories yeah. have to be next to each other. Music television. So music television. <laughs> uh... It's the year. It's the year 1998. We know. Currently. <laughs> currently, what? Hey, our producers make make us say that because we're going. This is going to syndication. So how about you yes, cool it's, it's, it's it or you lose it? It's very evergreen. This, yeah. this show. Uh, it's it's 1998. What band right now has the longest running music video at the top of the TRL charts? Why did we do this to ourselves? <laughs> we said TRL and you have TV. to guess. Dean, once again for the cliche. <laughs> well, you might be going for a San Jose Sharks hat trick right now. Let's see. <laughs> oh God. I'm like sweating, but however, fish sweat. Uh, <laughs> God, it's Just like salt water. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's like yeah, real. Ooh, okay. I'm not cool with Dean. <laughs> it's just disgusting. <laughs> just briny stink. <laughs> oh. And that's all that way. Oh. <laughs> I'm watching Cowboy Bebop every night before bed. I don't have to cross over. Do you know the actual answer to this? I do. Dean said How the fuck sync. did you. Okay. Is it in sync, Bendy Kids? Oh. Oh, this is bending us out of shape because that's correct. Ding, ding, ding. Nice no, job, Dean. Oh, I said spring. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't think I want to win anymore. If this yeah. is what winning feels like. How upsetting. How upsetting. 
We're, and their eyes start to glow red. This is really getting in the way of our plans. All right, two more, and you win this round. But again, five more. Wow, this threat's getting a lot less impressive as we go. <laughs> yeah, all right, your categories are, if we remember correctly. Television. Vision, okay, television. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Peter Jennings is. Damn it. <laughs> 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 Television reaction we watched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> WDP 11, thank you for the sub. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 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 this is fucking makeup. I really want to remind you guys. I'm. This is. I have to come up with this on my mind because my thing crashed. So Peter Jennings is the news anchor on what channel? <sighs> I don't watch the news. Dean. I, oh. Just a reminder, Dean's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Beep, beep, beep. Wait, you're not even from here. Beep, Peter Jennings. Beep, beep, beep. Is he the one with the glasses? Or is he like the old, the old one with the glasses? You answered CBS News? I believe it's don't, CBS don't make noises. News. That is incorrect! And oh. like, oh. all these virtual reality oh. flames come up. Ha ha, who's playing with fire now? The answer's you. I and think then the CBS was. On the back wall, there's a giant like one that pops up. And so. We have to get five wrong in order to lose. Yeah. Oh. We're still like way um, in the lead. These, okay. these kids don't have crap on us. <laughs> I want to make sure Hermione knows that it's OK, because I'm proud of her for trying. So I try to like touch her with my 10 Stop with the touch, oh. especially now. We've what? talked about the touch and we've talked about it. We've talked about the hugging. We've talked about all of this. Not okay with it. Oh. All right, your categories are, if memory serves correct, music, television, geography. Uh, there was another one. <laughs> it was potpourri. Potpourri. And potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> Which is apparently a hockey category. <laughs> <laughs> it's any, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be. The next one's about the Rangers, so. <laughs> Harper, we're all screwing this up. Uh, one you oh, and we're just unlocking, uh, what, what's that? <laughs> we're just unlocking a new category, books. Books? You like or, books? Your name is Harper Collins. I don't read books. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 how I, I rebel. It's how I rebel. Okay. Books. books great. Please. Alright. This is going oh no. Oh no. In the book series Animorphs. Oh. What is Tobias's main form? <laughs> it's a human. It's a human. Wait, hold on. <laughs> It's a human. human. Tobias? Hu no. But they're no. human Tobias children that turn in the into the first animals. book was trapped in his animal form when he remained in it for too long when they infiltrated Visser 3's hideout. Hearing the story is making me really sad that I'm a fish and I just start crying <laughs> mucus now. No, it's cool. It's cool. No. No. But nobody wants to touch you, but we want to comfort you. It's like, oh, I'm so <laughs> That less popular Prince song when fish cry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> may I confer with my teammate? We'll allow it. All right, Dean, was it a falcon or a hawk? I think it was a hawk, right? Pretty sure he was a hawk. We're gonna go hawk, final answer? Wait, is that? <laughs> I would say final answer. No. I don't think Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was out yet. That's a, that they, might be 99. They, they probably asked it before then. I don't think they did. Not in the cultural expert. Um, is that your conclusion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing I can think of that might be correct. <laughs> Man, yeah, the answer's red tail hawk. Huh? Nice! Where'd it go? Oh, no, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Fine, if you get one more right, then you learn a little bit about what's going on. But if you're uh, not right, then... then Four times, though. Yeah, oh, whatever. Uh, okay, <laughs> great. Okay, so I feel like we should do music or TV. Unless we want to risk I've been picking all of the ones that we've been winning. Oh. I think I'm very good at picking categories. <laughs> Geography. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Geography. Hold on, her logic is sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The only one that we fucked up on, which I answered, was television. Mm -hmm. Because um, Peter Jennings. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is the answer to that, by the way? That's going to drive me crazy. ABC? ABC. ABC. ABC uh, is Peter Jennings. Ooh. Uh, in the far distant, you know what, let's just do this. In the oh. not too distant future. Uh, it, Sorry. <laughs> you got me on that. Mm, yeah, that was around. I think I'm, okay, this, all right, let's just do this because off the top of my head. Uh, you didn't have a geography question? Because you know, who was going to pick I've got so much. <laughs> no, I didn't write. Right. <laughs> I had a thing and it didn't work. Wes Brighton. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, are you, okay, are you guys ready for this? 
in a reference to a Nickel Creek song that's being written. What is the state capital of Montana? Nickel Creek? Mm-hmm. Chris Teeley, he's an award-winning mandolin player. I might know, wait, I might remember the state capital of Montana. It's Bismarck. I, I think. No, no, Bismarck is, uh... Is it Helena? Helena. It should be Helena. It's Helena, right? Helena? I think it's Helena's capital, Montana. Uh, or yeah, is but it I know Cheyenne? I know I know two Helena songs, and actually I know one Helena song because only one of them <laughs> exists. It's, it's Helena, but I would know it, so I can't bring you up on that. There's a, uh, uh, I think Helena's capital, Montana. Yes. I'm a product so, of the American public school system, so. Uh, -uh. uh my skill is educated through the British school system. Which is really good, but they, you probably don't learn. Would not know about Montana well, in a I, bit. Well, I, what is your conclusion answer? Helena, because I learned state capitals and I. Oh, <laughs> so you know the answer. Yeah, oh, so I know the answer. Because I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they teach you that in school. Well, gosh darn it, gosh, gosh, dust ghoul darn it. You're right. What? It is Helena. Yeah. And then like the like confetti, like virtual reality confetti explodes and the podium shrink down like, oh, well, congratulations. Wonderful. Good job for all you guys. We're so Thanks. proud of you. Now 16. Oh, fine. <laughs> and they pull out this and like. And give us a dog. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and the dog looks up and goes. And then this voice goes, and the voice of the dog goes, no, don't pull me out, no. And this like sprite gets pulled out of the virtual reality oh dog God. and the sprite glows. It's like, I can't go back. I can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is gone and the dog looks liberated oh. and leaps out of the screen and is running around and goes up against your leg. And as it does, the dog's love transforms you back like the beast oh. into a beautiful boy again. Oh. And you're back. But I'm still covered in mucus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is... Very, very unusual. Better than like Nestle Strawberry Quick, though. Like as a prize for one of these things. I'm just saying. That's true. That's true. Most of the time, it's like that. Yeah, we're gonna be Skechers shoes, <laughs> but. Yeah. Can I, I mean, if they're the see... light-up ones, though. Can I, can I roll to see if we get the aggro crag? Mm, yes. Piece of the aggro crag. Oh yes. yeah, get a glowing piece of that awesome rock. I got 13. I got a 17. Mm. I believe that uh, that uh, that a bee, bee stick should get the aggro crag. I don't want it. <laughs> you don't want the aggro crack? You don't want the aggro crack? No, the aggro crack is kind of like an unachievable ideal. Mo, right? Mo is my cousin. That's why I know about the aggro crack. Yeah. You know Mo? I totally know Mo. I'll take Mo. <laughs> That's weird. What? She's my cousin. I just want to hang out. <laughs> The, I get an aggro Yeah, it floats out of, uh, and this is like a Tron, like, this is like a weird, like, virtual reality version of it. Shit, yeah. So, yeah, <gasps> there you go, like a flip. Oh my god! Yeah. My cousin's going to be so proud of me! And I'm gonna say, I just so we can break into the new ca uh, category slash column on your character sheets, uh, this is where we go back to being a nerdy show. <laughs> uh, um, wow, we, wait, what we, did he like that. It was a bit central. It's like, but let's get back to the dice. Uh, uh, this is going to be a spell. And Wait, I'm, oh, see, I'm see, going see, to say you will have control over any virtual or fictional environment that's introduced to you. What? So you can't, like, uh, so like uh, Captain Planet level if you if stuff comes out of like a, from a movie out of the TV screens, you will have power over it with a spell. Does that make sense? No. You can't like <laughs> you can't make the walls float right now. But if let's say uh, for like, example like the old Hobbit cartoon happened and like a river is coming oh, at you, like a cartoon oh river is coming at you, you would be able to use this spell to control the the fictional environment that is coming at you. So if the environment attacks. I'm good for it. Yes. Casey oh my be. god. Thank Casey thank the you. Brewer. Thank you wow. Been killing it tonight. Thanks, Casey. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Okay. No, I'm still confused. So what sorry. Is an aggro crash. Oh, that's. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> flip that flip over the white. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's just like a British girl and like a referee's, and I'm like, that's my cousin again. Let's go to Mo. <laughs> Kicking it back to Mo. Mo. Thanks, Bee Stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, if for, uh, to explain, uh, uh, it's this thing that you have to climb, and if you could climb it on a kid's game show, then you got a, a bit of it. You got a piece of it. You got to take home a piece like a piece mountain. That's like the rock. ultimate prize of what children's was it from? obstacles. Guts. Yeah. Oh, it was from Guts? Or Global Guts. guts. I remember. Do you have it? Guts. 
Every... This, we are in our 30s, <laughs> yeah. you guys. Arrested development is a real problem in this country right now. All right. So, just so to Get fully clarify for everyone, um, uh, uh, to fully, fully, fully clarify for everyone. Um, what if I could just add something to the to the world? If it's like, oh, water's coming at us, and I'm just like, oh, well, I just imagine a ladder there. Let's let's roll, and if you. Because I'm still super confused about sure. what you mean Let's by roll. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It also seems really... I get a 14? 12. Okay. okay. Uh, what well, is it? Still, I'm going to give... <laughs> I, that one, I'm just going to give it to you because it's... Uh, I'm so, still confused. Uh, so now, no, now I'm going to say that you can introduce something from that fictional universe to fight. You can, like, call forth something out of a property. Does that make sense? It's like a... You so can, I can like make a golem or something. Exactly. If like the Lord of the Rings cartoon came to, if the Hobbit cartoon was attacking you guys, you could use your virtual crag and say, "I call forth, God, like I call forth the like, Gimli and like Gimli." Actually, that doesn't make sense because that would be, "I call forth a troll," and you would call forth a troll and a troll, and you would, would now have control. Okay. Of the troll. Okay. Like a hard light hologram. Okay. okay. Yes. Oh my god, I should have accepted this. <laughs> <laughs> you went no so quick, you're like, nah, it's too transcendental. And you learned how transcendental it was, and then, great, so. <laughs> no. I don't understand No, this. I already turned it down. That's okay. It chose me. you, through my apathy. Great. <laughs> I think it would rather have the apathy. I think it's just as apathetic. All right, um, I'm going to say, what, what would, man, I am so confused. Okay, um. Magic. So basically, like she can create a VR construct. Yep. Out of of like whatever she wants from that world, from whatever the, world you interact magic with. Magic creature maker. So you could have called the doctors from Bandage Man, or you could have um, the had doctors from Bandage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the could famous... have called a uh, Nickelodeon producer to cancel. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. Rules. Yeah. Rules. <laughs> rules. Yeah. Uh, so now the magic creature maker in canon. Yep. Okay. So now okay, these. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> so now these children, their their eyes are glowing red, and they say, "Fine. Since we lost, fair is fair, and squares are squares. Even though sometimes rectangles and squares share same. Well, we have to. We have to. Have, we have an edge. Okay. They're not rhombus. <laughs> okay. We just have to every so often to teach, or we lose our funding. So, <laughs> fine. Here's the thing. If you can get to the manager's office, there you will find. The portal, VHS itself, a mystical VHS tape that the founder thought that he could hide from the world, but failed to. If you can't get to it in time, we will be unleashed, and then finally, I'm this- I'm not scared of you, puny idiot. Well, okay, I'm gonna finish a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, this, and, then, and then this will be our domain. That's all I was gonna say. And then this will be our domain. Wait, what movie is it? Uh, we, we don't know, because we're television. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, they can't cross over. And also, we so can't mention... Uh, also, we're not, not allowed to watch, watch it. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well... So we follow the rules. Ulysses. The dog starts doing <laughs> it. <laughs> the dog is with us now. The dog Bad is uncursed. Dog. The dog is uncursed. All right, well... <sighs> Um, we'll see you later because here's the thing. Soon we will exist in corporeal form. No. And yes. Still not afraid of it. Yes. Yeah, you guys think you're all that. Whoa, we're not allowed to talk about <laughs> outside property <laughs> content or we'll get in a lot of trouble. I just meant to like the phrase people use. <laughs> so just remember, guys, respect each other in P.O. Box 36, Boston, Massachusetts, 10432. Uh, peace. Your mom! N no! <laughs> the VHS pops, pops out of the VHS player and falls to the ground. Uh, Stomp it with my boot. <laughs> unfortunately, no items come out of it, but it's broken now. Yeah, but I feel better. Great, great. Stomping it with my boot is like, this is gonna, yeah, this is a thing now, I think. Oh, wonderful. You folks are so great. We have so many great things to get to. So now um, you are in the teen's live room, and that just happened. But as. Roll to see if they give out free sunglasses. They sure. Let's roll against each other. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's in theme Maybe with they the... have free sunglasses in the room. <laughs> Seven. 
Ten. Yes. Yeah, okay. nice. There are. There is like a. There's. It's called the sunglasses hut. And, and there's, there's a little hut <laughs> with like sunglasses. <laughs> For that, sunglasses. That you can get sunglasses Should out each of. take a pair, just in case? <laughs> there you go. I, I'll yeah. take a pair. I want to take two pair and sandwich my monocle in between the lenses on two of them so that I can wear sunglasses oh. and utilize the monocle. I left wow. my sunglasses in the car. I know. I was, I was going to have We could have had it all. Days. Props for days. Mm -hmm. All and right. As you guys are cool going to cool grab the shades. sunglasses. There's enough pairs for Zimmy to have a pair as well, right? Oh, Zim, and, and Zimmy goes... Uh, Zimmy looks at you. Zimmy, Zimmy doesn't have a voice, right? Zimmy is like no. now. You, you promised he wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that creepy <laughs> voice. Oh gosh. Uh, and Zimmy looks at you, and then these like eight big glasses come down. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> and then yeah, and then like wow, you don't they hear should, it. They should do that. That's like a fun <laughs> thing. I bet you years from now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys put that in your back pocket. Maybe you can get some internet bucks out of it later. Uh, all right, let me find it. You can't make money on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's like selling bottled water. <laughs> All right, so, um, and as you guys are rummaging through the sunglasses celebrating your victory, yeah. suddenly uh, the, one of the VHSs on the shelf starts to shake and it bursts open and this purple light beams and you hear a voice that says, you won't make it out of this room alive. You know what, I probably should have figured out what we're going to do first before I did a character voice, but we're sticking with it. You won't get out of this room alive! <laughs> and suddenly, I pulled a d10, but all I needed was a d6. What if it's you like a, see. a silent talkie movie, like <laughs> <laughs> subtitled. Then you we, won't <laughs> get out of this room <laughs> alive! I'm Sherlock Jr. Uh, <laughs> perfect, I rolled a five on my list of possible movies we can reference, <laughs> and you you all realize as you look at the v, the box the VHS box that's fallen on the ground it is and I think you're gonna love this it is the Wayne's World bootleg version that is suddenly rumbling and entering into this room to stop you guys from walking out of the teens live room. So what are our quick pitches for Wayne's a Wayne's World bootleg version? Planet Greg. Planet Greg. Carl's place. Carl's place. <laughs> The gun rack. The <laughs> gun rack. <laughs> it's like literally just a gun show by like a cool dude. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Hat boys. <laughs> I would like to vote for hat boys. Uh, same. <laughs> I knew when I looked at Holiday was gonna be like a piece of gold. You were just like, I don't know. Here's the best thing I have ever thought of. <laughs> Hat boys, uh, and how do you feel about that, Nika? Uh, I, I, I think I'm outvoted either way. And uh, these two hat boys, hat boys no, jump. No, all of my titles are just like, what are they wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Panic. Vantage man. These two hat boys leap out. Uh, and they say, and they say I don't care if this is reference to anything else. They go, roll out. Rim, and they play their keytars. Derivative. <laughs> uh, profitable. Fair point. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up? Uh, we're the Hat Boys. Uh, um, I'm <laughs> I'm Dwayne, <laughs> and I'm Clarkson. <laughs> and there's no way you're getting out of this room alive because if you do, you'll try to get to the manager's office and stop the VHS from letting us escape and take over the your work. The exposition's getting really heavy right now. Just really want to make sure everyone fully understands the state <laughs> <laughs> before we blast you away with our sonic grooves and they and aim uh, their keytars at you and fire a uh -oh. sonic uh. blast. All right. What would you guys like to do? Uh, me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I or, I, this is all open for the table. I use my <gasps> passport to block it. Um, Does it have a dice value on it? Yes. Uh, what's the dice value? D4. Roll your D4. It's going to go up in flames. It might. I'm not going to have a passport. It might. How am I going to get cigarettes? It's okay. You can st live with us in America. <laughs> well, that's okay. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no. I promise you don't have any form of identification. It doesn't burn it, one? but it it knocks your passport away into the other room. Oh my 
god, how am I gonna get six? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I proposition, uh, oh, but, well, they knocked, we don't have to deal with that anymore because they, they already hit the thing. Um, I would like to attempt to use my bouquet of sorrows on one of the hat boys, maybe Dwayne. Okay. No, 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 no. Carlson. Okay. Sadly, it was Clarkson. 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 I actually like Carlson better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Dwayne and I'm Carlson. <laughs> 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 cool. So you're the, uh, you're the B side. <laughs> yeah. Is that a drum set? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to. So gonna, what's the, what are you rolling? Uh, it's my D12. <gasps> yeah. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's a big roll. Four. Four. <laughs> uh, you swing it at uh, Carlson, <laughs> and you hit Carlson in like the back of the head, and Carlson spins around, and Carlson goes, "Hey, I'm not really quite sure who I am. <laughs> no. <laughs> like as a person. <laughs> I'm like that's fine, I guess." And Dwayne's like, whoa, Carlson, what are you doing, man? Like, we gotta, like, do this. And Carlson's like, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I guess I know. But mostly I know, because you're telling me. <laughs> Dwayne's oh like, oh, God. man, I'm a man down for a little bit. <laughs> well, that's fine, I'll still take you out. And turns to you and no. revs up the sonic guitar cannon. Okay, I want to try. So nothing, nothing that we have on us has done anything weird yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna roller blade over. I'm gonna try and blade over and see if I can gank his sonic keytar okay. before he can rev it up. Sure. In time. Heck yeah. Okay. So um, bonus points for using gank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, we get bonus points for using slang. You got an inspir. You got a point of inspiration. Oh, you're right. I, write that I just down. got props. <laughs> uh, you got a three. I rolled a three. Props, bro. Sorry about the mute. It's my so, point of oh, inspiration yeah, a reroll. I forgot. About I did get a three. Point of inspiration. Yep. Yep. Oh no. Uh, okay, great. Hold on. Let me just see here. I'm doing so some math in my head. Okay, great. So Rolling so many times. You, uh, you. This is really exciting because you skate against the keys of the keytar. Okay. Like the strap of the keytar. You spin back around, you hit the buttons of the keytar, and in doing so, you start to absorb the sonic magic of the keytar. <laughs> okay. So you don't do damage to Dwayne. Okay. But, um, oh, also your, you can activate your monocle anytime well, you see their health points. Just a reminder. Oh, either. that's what it does. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just a reminder. I would like to do that. Uh, <laughs> so you look back to see if you did anything, and it says like, uh, your monocle goes, hey, what's up? They okay. both have 10 points of health each. Thanks, dude. Uh, and then your magnifying glass, if you ever point it at his rollerblades, might tell you something. They got 10 HP each. I'm not really sure like how that scales, but... HP. Oh, oh, right. Wrong like, crowd, sorry. Like the sauce. No. What? <laughs> That's it's a brown sauce. My mom said she's still looking for I'm still it. Really hungry. I know, I know, but we thought Priorities Dean. We thought maybe if we took some like Caesar salad dressing. Also, Hermione has is, uh, is that the only it. HP you're familiar with? <clears throat> Yes. So if you aim, if you uh, aim your magnifying glass at the rollerblades, uh, yeah, I do it. You seem really. <laughs> you know what? No. Okay, great. You don't have to. Uh, uh, if you ever need me, remember, I am trapped. My soul is trapped in the magnifying glass. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah. So Nate, you know they have 10, 10 health points each. Okay. Uh, gonna, I'm gonna do? point my uh, magnifying glass at. Um, what are the, um, the hat boys' names again? <laughs> Dwayne and Carlson. Okay, I'm gonna point it at um, their hats. Great. Mm. Yeah, the source of their power. The, you it's are, either that or their boyhood. You're right. It is the source of their. It is the source of their power. <laughs> Dude, you, uh, I'm drowning. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, ethereal magic stuff, it's really hard. Does um, it also make the hats bigger now that he looked at them? To him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're standing behind him. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
Very important. Very <laughs> optics. It's still optics. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the hats are the source of their power. So and I'm absorbing. I'm sorry. I'm absorbing the sonic power of their keytar somehow. You, well, there's like this like cool like 2D animated like like light that came off. This like cool neon light that's <laughs> now crackling. Drew over the film frame. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's like an original Pete's Dragon thing where it's like someone just like scratch. I'm not getting paid enough. I want to take my pocket notebook uh -huh. and sort of wave it in front of Zimmy's face mm -hmm. to get his attention, and then frisbee throw it just above the hat boy's hats in the hopes that, yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. your brand uh, does your notebook have? Dog. Yes. It's a D4? It Great. is a D4. That is crazy. Oh, I hope the dog's okay. Three. Great. You, you chuck the notebook over. And uh, Zibby, Zibby? Zimmy. 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 Yeah. Right, because a Z uh, on its side is an M. Zimmy uh, jumps over, and which of the two hat boys is, does I Zimmy leave uh, Car Carlston. The one who's having an existential <laughs> crisis? No, no, the one with the gun. The one with the <laughs> guitar. <laughs> they both have guitars. They both have guitars. Let's pile on Carlston. Yeah. <laughs> Whose name but is? I, I just don't think it's <laughs> fair. It's obvious he's going through something kind of hard right now. Is this I a don't... Rosencrantz and Guildenstern moment? It is very <laughs> much. It is very much. Pops, pops. And the name, uh, the hat falls off. Oh, this is gonna get weird. Uh, <laughs> the hat falls off, and the monocle detects, um, and 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 Carlson goes, what? <laughs> Did it happen to now Carlson? what am I? Oh God! Is my identity so easily removed? <laughs> as was my hat. <laughs> what is the way of my being? You're just a boy. But I can't be forever. And then <laughs> your monocle picks up. Your monocle goes, "Hey, now that's that was two points of damage, or no, oh. that was three points of damage to the hat." Okay. But that was three points of damage to the hat. And then the hat goes, the hat looks up. We're going to get weird because this is a late night saving throw show, folks. <laughs> and the hat get, looks up and goes like, uh, Carl, you, you good for nothing. You good for nothing. All you're looking for, all you're looking for is a place to belong. I know. And I, and the, oh, you couldn't even handle the power I gave you. And the hat itself starts to float up and is like spinning and you realize now. Can, that, I, can I roll to have a, have a talk with Carlson? Sure, if you'd like. Yeah, yeah just sure. To have a conversation. A D twenty okay. against D twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do Carlton. it. Carl Carlton. Yeah, Carl. I got four. I got twenty. <gasps> oh, this is gonna be you, a good talk. And just so you know, I'll say with this twenty, you can now, if you can convince Carlson to turn against the hat, yes. Carlson will be on your side. Great. This, great. That's this is my. Okay, plan. great. So yeah, we want someone who is like in the middle of an existential crisis who brings nothing to the table. No, no, no. <laughs> so here, so what? What are my skills? One of my skills is uh, emotional emancipation, uh, because though so. I am, I am an 18-year-old living in uh, the town of Broken Branch. Uh, technically old enough to move out, uh, but I, but I still live here. Um, but uh, you know, feel separated from from my family and my parents. So what I think Carlson needs to understand here is that his his the soul of his father, which is clearly in this. Hat, oh, let's do all in game. Let's do this. Uh, does not need to. Um, oh, what, what do you what do you want to talk to me about? Uh, Carlson, I I think you have some unresolved issues that I would like to discuss with you right now, if you're willing. Like magazine issues, or no, 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 no. Uh, see, this this hat, the way this hat talks to uh -huh. you. I mean, would would you let any other article of clothing talk to you that way? No, I wouldn't let my my plaid shirt talk to me that way. <laughs> no, my, no, my knee torn jeans. So why are you letting your hat talk to you this way? Well, you're not going to believe this. This might blow your mind, but the hat's got the soul of my dad in it. <laughs> Wow, um, I figured this was something this deep, and I'm not, <laughs> though I may not necessarily uh, be great at mediating, uh, like my fish friend Dean. You're doing here. such a good job! <laughs> I'm now human tears, now human tears. <laughs> mixing with my formerly mucusy tears. I just, I, uh, Carl, I just, I don't think you should let the soul of your father control your life because clearly he's just a soul in a hat. And he's not even, even if he were a physical being, I mean, I, I don't understand why you're allowing this, this article of clothing, this cruel, judgmental, I understand that you identify as a hat boy, but... I, what, and I what do. Is, <laughs> what is, uh, what were you before you were a hat boy? Before I was a hat boy, I, I was really into Excel. 
Before I was at Hapoy, I was, I was really good at Microsoft Excel. So why did you why did you stop using Excel and creating spreadsheets and I'm doing creating VLOOKUPs. formulas and stuff? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, it's another team. You're going to have a best friend soon. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to seem excited, even though I kinda of thought that uh, you might have been my best friend, but that's fine, it's fine. Well, now you also have a dog who is man's best friend, and it's just getting really weird. And Carlson yeah. turns and goes, it's because my dad's soul got trapped in a hat, and turns and goes, it's because, Dad, your soul got trapped in a hat. That's why I became a hat boy, <laughs> and grabs the hat. <laughs> I just starts to pull the hat apart oh my <laughs> God. and goes, I could have been an accountant and rips the hat and the hat sprays magical energy everywhere. Whoa. Oh I, I, I use my lighter and I just like, just sing it, sing it brother. Like I just like, lay it up to and the, you, the sky. The closing song from uh, Bill and Ted's uh, Bogus Journey. God gave rock and roll? Yep. Starts playing. Yeah, it, absolutely. Okay, cool. absolutely. I don't have to roll for that? Nope. That's just happening? Nope. All right. No matter what you roll, that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, and just so you know, anytime, Righteous. <laughs> anytime something crazy magical happens and, and you, someone else does something very cool, uh, there's an interaction of the elements. Your lighter now has magical abilities. What? Oh. I have a magic lighter? You can now magic. absorb. I have way too much shit. Nobody else, I have a spell? I might have sonic rollerblades, but I'm not sure. We have to look at it with a magic lighter. Yeah, it turned into a fish, which I is was a magic just, lighter. As you were saying that, I was just about to look at your rollerblades, but then I heard about the lighter, and I turn and I look at the lighter. I want to be useful. <laughs> <laughs> I was a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, I have, might have a crash on your magnifying glass. <laughs> I am I'm happily, really now trying to hide I, my heartbreak. 100%. <laughs> I am very happily married. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but you can still have a crush. Emotion is a spectrum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's a progressive magnifying. <laughs> So uh, Carlson turns to Dwayne, and then Dwayne goes, I'll deal with you in a second, former hat boy. And as for you guys, I'm going to knock your hats off. And goes to do this crazy shred, like, sonic wave at all of you. Uh, <laughs> do something. Do something. Okay. Uh, do do I something, <laughs> beat stick. Uh, if we knew what his roller blades did. Uh, I still, so yeah, I, I still, so do I notice anything weird about me since, or, or has anything, does anything feel different after like dealing with the sonic keytar? Oh yeah, because remember in the oh, beginning yeah. of this perfectly written story, yeah. how you fell on your butt? Yeah. That was foreshadowing. Okay. Or at oh. least was a comparative device because <laughs> you start to trip back and you get this feeling that you will never ever fall on your skateboards again. On your rollerblades again, and you look down. And I you want see... to roll that he has two skateboards tied to his Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Uh, I can't see it. Six. Is it a six or a nine? It's a. Is there a line? It was a nine. Eight. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> I have heavily modified my blades, team. <laughs> you know. Oh, that's, you, that's like really even cooler. You have inline boards. <laughs> <laughs> and they are crackling with music energy. Okay, I wanna, I wanna try. Like as he goes to do that, I, I just, I just wanna like feel it, mm -hmm. and I just wanna, I wanna jump up in the air and just grab my ankles real quick and just <laughs> like kind of like freeze in a radical position for just a moment, and then bring them slamming back down to the ground and just see what happens. Great, I have a feeling about this. You <laughs> jump up and in a Sailor Moon esque transformation. <laughs> I'm gonna say the two halves of a, of, of a skateboard <laughs> become one skateboard, and then for no need or reason, the wheels fold into the board itself, and it becomes this like air Whoa. skydiving board. You know that was really big in the night, like the yes. Power Rangers opening. Yes. And uh, and you, it transforms, and you're like all this glowing energy, and you go and you spin around and you cut the wave so it just goes on either side of you guys. Okay. And then it, the board separates back out into two separate boards, okay. inline boards, and you land. Whoa. 
Yes! And Dwayne goes, oh, dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tyrrell turns to Carlson and goes, you may be haunted by your dad, but now you're going to haunt someone else. And then shoots a beam of sonic energy at Carlson. <gasps> and it strikes Carlson. Not your new friends. Carlson's your friend. your new friends. You guys are friends. Just, just my friend. <laughs> uh, would anyone like to do anything? Oh, we should save Carlson. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. I mean, I'm still recuperating from using my sonic blade boards. Oh, this is fine. Um, I, I, I flip like open my bag and I bring out the hardcover book. Oh my gosh, what's the book? It is <laughs> Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. A very well-read, well-thumbed version. And I go like this and I dive in front. Um, does, the, uh, does your Harry Potter book have a dice allocation to it? It does. What is it? D12. Wow, okay, <laughs> give it a roll. It's the power of Harry, man. <laughs> a 12. Well, I, got, I got the full maximum amount. Your Harry Potter book absorbs the sonic energy. <laughs> and uh, suddenly you hear, you hear a voice now. I forget the gentleman's name, but the one who did the voice, uh, the reading for Harry Potter on the audiobooks. Uh, Is it Stephen Fry? Stephen Fry did one I of them. I thought it yeah. was Stephen I like, Fry. Ste there's Stephen Fry, and then there's another guy who yeah, did it before. The, uh, I prefer oh, Stephen Fry. Stephen if you don't mind. Do you prefer Stephen I Fry? I prefer Stephen Fry. The voice of Stephen Fry from in the '90s. You remember that really recent show, of, uh, uh, Fry and Laurie? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that really recent show. Q1. He, he was already yeah, on Q1. He was on. He was on Q1. So I, I knew a lot about Q1. Like, yeah. Oh my God. No <laughs> way. Hello, this is uh, you might. Hello, this is Stephen Fry. What? Is that Stephen? Is this Stephen? No, he is much more posh. Uh, oh yes, that's very right. Very posh. He is so fantastic. Well, uh, well, it, 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 surprise to me. I've recently come to life. It seems. <laughs> Hello, uh, this is Stephen Fry. What? I, yes, and is I'm now. Is that you, Grant? Uh, Stephen Fry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, I've, if I if I played anyone, it would be a Dashwood. <laughs> Hello, this is Stephen Fry. Uh, and uh, yes, keep saying his name. Uh, <laughs> I'm just standing there. I'm, I'm, st I'm still just gone. Like, I'm, now, I'm now a talking book that you can you can reference to. I, I guess I guess uh, uh, to reference a, a possible friend. Of mine. Uh, don't don't panic. <laughs> I don't oh, I got that one. It took me a second. Great. So, what? <laughs> and it absorbs. Your so great. Yeah. Book. I knew this because you guys, this is going to catch on in the next couple of years. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make sure. To, uh, Magic uh, books. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. And so Dwayne is now just furious and just picks up the keytar and swings it at you. Uh, and it's going to hit you for three points unless anyone jumps in front and does anything. Um, okay, I'm going to okay, well reach into my way. pocket and grab my small bouncy ball and throw <laughs> it at Dwayne's feet Okay. In an attempt to trip him. Sure, that's at play. That works. Uh, does your ball have a dice allocation? D10. Okay, go ahead. Wow, that's a... Yeah. I was like, <laughs> you saw this It's coming. more than the Polaroid. One? Oh. Are you kidding me? Um... So it like hits his foot and he, ooh, this is gonna get dark. He turns and looks at you. Oh dear. And then kicks the ball into their room and then turns and hits you in the gut. Hold on. Oh. oh. How did these work? <gasps> yep. Yes. That's a rewind. Oh. oh. Yep. Yeah. So it hits you in the gut. <laughs> Jean, little buddy. <laughs> um, but as it's happening, it's almost as if the world slows down because you see this t this VHS that just says uh, there's a, a piece of masking tape and it just says rewind. Do you reach for it? I do. And when you pull it, it doesn't go on the shelf fully. It leans out and then you hear it, and it goes back in and everything goes back to before. Uh, Stephen Fry is in <laughs> my book. He keeps saying his name. Wait. <laughs> yes. Well, I. Uh, well, it's I, amazing. I, uh, well, it's, yep, thank you. <laughs> You're incredible. Do I get to meet the Queen? Uh, well, you know, uh, we'll see one night. We'll, we'll, we'll see one night. Absolutely. We'll, Absolutely. No, no, no. We'll see one night. 
He's putting. I think he's putting a K in front. Of him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, you can almost hear it. Two you points to the gentleman over there. Um, <laughs> and then Duane goes, "I'm tired of this. I don't get it. <laughs> the, only, the only British people I like are the Ramones." And then pulls out the guitar and swings I'm it. I'm gonna Laser. try again. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna reach into my pocket and I'm gonna grab a bouncy ball and I'm gonna aim it for Duane's feet. And this time I'm gonna knock him off his ass and he's not gonna hit Dean. Cool. <laughs> and it bounces off of Dwayne's foot. <laughs> but it, hey, use your reroll. Use your reroll. Make it happen. Oh. oh, I also have a reroll. Yeah, yeah you can totally oh, burn. Jesus Christ. This oh, that's right. You have a point of inspiration. Right. Right. Thank you for reminding me of all these things that I have. It's right there. So, one more time. I really one want this bouncy ball thing to happen. <laughs> go, go for the eye this time. The eye? Yeah. But he has to trip, though. Yeah, but if you get him in the like eyes, oh. Like, does it hit his eye and then bounce off and then like roll? Okay, okay, no, okay, whatever. Okay. No, you got it. Okay. He's gonna trip on it comically yeah, yeah, like yeah. a okay. crook and... Okay, okay, No! <laughs> really? Is that I didn't hit his ankle again. <laughs> Do you mind? I gotta go hit this kid in the gut. <laughs> I'm just willing I mean, to let it happen. There's two rewinds. <laughs> <laughs> it's three points of damage. I mean, I'll actually... Oh, yeah. I'll be okay. <laughs> uh, How much health do you have? I have. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Do we have health points? Yeah. Do any of us have health points? That's at the top, right? I think that's, Is that our that's our age. That's our age. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was my HP. <laughs> we can, do I have HP? If you have want, 20 we can. Out of thirty F. Uh, <laughs> I was going to introduce the mechanic, but I'm going to say completely that I like that a lot. I like it your too. age is your HP. Yeah. I'm seventeen. 18. I'm gonna go with 18. 14 or 15. I'm gonna go with 15 because I was held back in kindergarten IRL, <laughs> so I earned that extra hit point. You did, you did. Um, but yeah. yeah. Great. So great. So now you're down to 12. And he's 32 <laughs> for some reason. Well, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you graduated two years. And ago. your HP is mystery. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of question marks in my hands. <laughs> so, um, so you get the hit, and then Dwayne uh, goes to swing now at you, Hermione. It's like a fluid, like crouching tiger move. Oh, no, probably we probably can't make that reference yet. Goes boom, and then goes to swing at you. What would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna kiss my pewter ring uh -huh. on my hand, but I'm just gonna punch up to his hand as he's swinging at me. I'm gonna just like, is he like ah? I'm gonna try and like go down and like just hit it out of the way. Okay. Like very. Okay. Uh, do you have a dice allocation for your ring? It is a d6. Go ahead and roll that d6. All right. Special special ring. Oh, I can't see. It's a, a six. six. The... Dude, I'm fucking it up today. <laughs> Hermione you rocks. Yep. I want to be Hermione forever. I'm gonna get my hair cut like her. Uh... She has a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair is different. Her hair is different. <laughs> oh it's, like a little, it's like a little 90s yeah. pop cut, by the way. Mm. Uh, yeah, the, the, so like, if you're the doodling along at home. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, pop open MS Paint and um, <laughs> the... Or your Spider-Man Create Your Own Adventure <laughs> yeah. or what was CD that? ROM. No, what was the, the kids? It was like the one... Uh, kids Kid Cube? Picks. Kid Picks. Kid yeah. Picks. Kid Picks. Kid pick. Kid pop picks. open kid pick. That's yeah. a weird thing to pop up on people's computers. No, no, kid, kid picks, picks is great. Spelled with an X. Kid from picks. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it wasn't at the time. <laughs> the keytar goes flying and it puts a hole through one of like the shelves of VHS so you can now see into the other room. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And Dwayne goes, oh man, well, I guess this just this. Just turned into an odd job. Shut up, you chav. Did, stop it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And then pulls off his hat. No. And then. <laughs> While his hat is off, I take my pencil and strike him in the soft spot. <laughs> Does your pencil have a dice allocation? What do you mean? <laughs> what, what, Does the roll? pencil get like extra for having like like murder dust on it already? Ooh. Or just, like... You know what? Can I do a double move? Do I'll roll my d10 to sharpen my pencil. Okay. And then I'll. Yes. Start. Sure. Yeah, you can do that. You can. Right. Do that. He meditated now, Dean. Shar <laughs> <laughs> Sharpening is a free action. He's not yeah. really like human. He's like digital, right? This is my 10, right? I don't want to fuck up. Yeah, it is. A four. So Crap. Pretty, pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. It's kind of sharp. Okay. Yeah. And then you can roll your pencil. All right. Rolling my pencil. Four. 
Uh, Ate the hard you way. jab. Okay, you. Oh it's like God. not like a full porcelain situation again, but you jab <laughs> right, and then Dwayne's like, "What are you doing?" Enough so that the pencil just kind of like stays there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's <kinda> like, <laughs> he's gonna have like one of those like blue scars that you get from like lead when you get stabbed. Oh, yeah. like the yep. tip the breaks of off and is in there. Yeah, and it's just oh, gonna be yeah. on the rest of his. So do I, so I'm maintaining my pencil, but the tip has broken off. Yeah. In his head. Okay. Wow. Okay. You okay. broke off the pencil. It's like a beast. Cool. And I am just it's horrified, like so I'm reeling back. Um, like, I would like to remind you guys, you have uh, quite a few magical items by this point. Yeah. Uh, nope, um, I'm good with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and then, uh, I'm sorry, what was that roll again? Four, right? Two fours, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Dwayne is now down to uh, six points of health, which you saw in your monocle. Hey, real quick, bud. Yeah. Uh, that, that broski, six points. Oh, nice. Uh, good job, Dean. That was like <laughs> four HP. <laughs> Again, with the weird... Anyway, I'm really starving. Wait we should have eaten before we got here. Wait a minute. I have one near him. I want to pull out my Game Boy Color. Uh -huh. Can I roll? Can I roll? <laughs> okay. Roll to give Hermione an airhead? Yes, She's you can. Hungry. You don't have to roll. You can just hand Hermione the airhead. It's yours. Which, you which, which one am I getting? Uh, that's why you're rolling. Yeah, that's rolling for flavor. <laughs> Oh, you're rolling for rolling flavor? Rolling for yeah. flavor is a great t-shirt idea, what by the way. <laughs> yeah, so, right? Wow. Hell yeah, I love watermelon. Well, that's a good one. What is this? This is delicious. <laughs> uh, so what is your, what is your, uh, what you get, what you do? I want to pull out my Game Boy Color. Yes. Six. Because all of this talk of hit points and everything is yeah. making me think about something. And I just want to, I want to just like turn it on and just like see if it, Dean, look at this with your thing. Does it do anything? I pull out my magnifying glass and hold it up. <gasps> You're not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I like how like he's now like Noel Fieldy. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I don't think Mighty Boosh is around. Just, <laughs> Noel Fielding. No, Mighty one. Boosh, I believe, is around. Not throw, Mighty, throw the. Oh, oh gosh, wow! I did not practice this character voice. <laughs> throw the Game Boy at Dwayne. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I want to. I want to chunk it at him. Great. Uh, and it's a D8. Great, go ahead and roll. No! I rolled a six. Yeah. You throw the Game Boy at Dwayne as Dwayne is like in pain and like there's like these sparks of like magic like kind of like coming out of like Dwayne's head where Dwayne has been injured. Okay. And looks up just in time as the Game Boy just koomp hits and Dwayne falls back into a shelf and it knocks the shelf down and the shelf hits this wall and the wall falls and all these VHS tapes open up these, this magical portal energy and in the back you see this secret room that you guys didn't even know about. It's this secret break room filled with a bunch of games where all the games are taken out of the basement. He said we couldn't take breaks! <laughs> <laughs> and magical energy washes over them. And suddenly, you enter the retro game room. What? Uh, no, bring this over. You're gonna draw this on our map. Oh, I'll draw it. I'll draw it. Oh, I'll bring draw it. it bring it on. Are we still in the Dean live room? Not anymore. Where are we? Now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, Where are we? And I love, I love uh, this ability to prove to you guys this is the floor map as we, as we have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember it. Totally. Remember this last. You'll see it like this. Okay. And you're like, hey, Omar, I know that you don't GM oh. traditional stuff a whole lot. Did you think this through? And the answer <laughs> is, give me a second. Because I got to use my Daiso markers. Oh, you have to Hell yeah, course. Daiso markers. Everything from Daiso, please. Wait, wait, hold on. Something's taking shape back here. <laughs> Remember that image, guys? There was the game room plan the whole time. Why? Right there. Ooh. I'm holding my magnifying glass to the floor map. <laughs> now that you see it, is it so obvious it was there the whole so time, totally. hidden behind the wall? Why didn't we think to go to the game room first? I, I didn't know it was there. Did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Wait, oh, thank guys. We, hold we need to figure We're... out what the lighter's about. I hold up my lighter. Oh, it's just magic. Oh, the lighter absorbs yeah. uh, any like m like spell. Do the or voice, mystic. dude. Come on. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sorry. I was on. I was taking a break. Uh, <laughs> oh, the God, lighter, the lighter absorbs magical energy. Okay, great. But what, what... <laughs> wait, hold on. I want to be real clear because I was told state law forbids breaks. <laughs> so how is your magnifying glass taking a break? 
state law demands break. What? Yes. Okay, I got a lot of thinking. I, I point my magnified glass to like one of those laminated <laughs> yeah. plastic sheets yeah. on the wall of ten the break minutes, room. At ten minutes every three hours. <laughs> but I didn't know this room was here, so I couldn't see these posted things. <laughs> All right, uh, let me pull up a list of retro right, games. So my lighter absorbs magic energy, which is funny because instead of using that, I used my But then it, does it basically shoot back whatever the magic energy it is? It just absorbs. Back? So if there's like a scatter or something, like yeah. someone shoots like a fire spell at yeah. you, you'll just be able to get it in. Almost like But like when you want to use it. Dumbledore's lantern. Learn. Yeah, almost like the, the yeah. Street the street darkener. God, what is it called? The street darkener. It's the street darkener. <laughs> 3,000. <000. laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's, uh, the, that's the Nimbus. Um, and because uh, you, because you're familiar with this floor plan, yes. And now this is a surprise for you. If you could do me a favor it's and roll a, a d20, a d20. Okay. I rolled an 18. All right. Hopefully there's actually. Hopefully I can it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. This is great because it's becoming obscure. 14, 15, 16, 17, oh. 18. <gasps> oh, that's wonderful. That's absolutely perfect. Uh, you guys uh, <laughs> suddenly these pixels, these like large like virtual reality pixels start to float out and it builds a castle and around you, you enter into uh, Moat Mania, a horror game. Remember, this is it's still like bootlegs. Mist. No, it's mm. not like Mist. It's called Moat Mania, where you're in a castle. I am. I was in a castle. With a bunch of life-absorbing zombies. Okay. What? Uh, I'm so. I didn't mean to mock you just then. I swear. I, I, <laughs> I wasn't yeah. trying to put on a voice between you and Stephen Fry. And you it's hear a lot of going on, isn't it? all speaking in British accent. You hear it down through like a few hallways. Uh, hey, it's me. It's me, the owner of the VHS store. <gasps> Are you guys there? Is that it's what he a trap. Like? Is that I what he sounds like? like? Is that his voice? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Unequivocally. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Akash, the owner of the, the video game. Hey, is that you, B-Stick? <laughs> <laughs> it was already your nickname! <laughs> I carefully cultivated Beamer! <laughs> B-Stick. <laughs> yeah. Please help. It wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> Please help. You gotta go. You gotta fight through three chambers of these of these uh, uh, of these game references, and then you'll be able to help me and save me. And then I'll be able to help and save you. Oh, Nothing would give works. me greater pleasure. <laughs> you should. You should bring up the break thing. Oh, maybe not now, maybe not yeah, now. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get there first. And then I have some serious questions. <laughs> great, yeah, he's gonna have some serious answers. Don't worry, it's gonna be great. great. More, so, more trivia. So, pardon? I'm more so trivia. happy nope. to be able to speak this time. This is gonna be <laughs> lightning have, rounds. But you have to okay. submit all of your answers to uh, <laughs> Five zombies, five life-absorbing zombies <gasps> clamber out and go, Welcome to Moat Mania. Again, not Castlevania. Moat oh, Mania. Not. <laughs> sure. Not Castlevania. Sure. <laughs> I just wonder why they chose to focus on the outside oh, defensive <laughs> fortifications. It's like if you had just said nothing, maybe we wouldn't have thought it. We yeah, couldn't think of anything with Fortress. <laughs> Fortress Frenzy? Oh, darn. Hey. <laughs> Do you want to use one of our rewinds? <laughs> no, hold on to it. Because we are going to absorb your life. And then one of them lunges at, let me get a D4 here, because this is about to go off. Hell yeah. Where did my Game Boy go? Can I, re can I get that oh, back? Is yeah. it gone? It is gone as far as you know. Oh no. But wait, I wait, wait, worry. what about my, um, my, GBC? Uh, my pocket notebook? Passport. I'm going to roll that uh, VR dog, uh, Zimmy, bought it, it, it and it. returned it got like it. a good okay. boy. So, bouncy ball. What'd you get? Uh, 14. Yeah, and passport. You got it. Yes. I feel like bouncing ball might be. He's a good boy. Yeah, bouncing yeah. ball is probably yeah, so gone. they're all gone. For okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, so. I still have that. So one, I'm two. I'm going to put a big two. X next to it. Uh, sure. It lunges at you. What do uh -oh. you do? Uh, answer the trivia question? Is this <laughs> trivia? no trivia. It's just a zombie lunging at you to attack you. Dang it. Uh, That's amazing. I'm, I'm furiously sharpening my pencil while all this is happening. Can you repeat it? 
I'm going to take my Tamagotchi out of my pocket and thrust it at it. This Tamagotchi needs to be, it needs food. There's poop everywhere. It needs to be taken care of. <laughs> Go ahead no roll. one can be thrust a Tamagotchi Go ahead without giving the, the urge to, oh, it's my four. Actually, since this is lightning, let's just roll a d20 against each other. You want to do a thing, and then uh, a zombie wants to do a thing. Okay. So roll your d20. I'm going to distract the zombie and make it take care of my Tamagotchi. <laughs> 16? <laughs> 17. Oh. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I immediately come to get the Tamagotchi and go like, ah! <laughs> don't, game a, don't game a gamer. And then bites your neck. Oh. And he goes, again, not sucking blood, absorbing life. <laughs> not Castlevania. Uh, take two points of damage. Okay, so now I'm 16. All right, one, two, three. Uh, one jumps at you, what do you do? I take my eraser caps, which is my D6, uh -huh. and I put it over its teeth so it can't bite me and absorb oh, okay. my okay. energy. Let's roll, I got a 16. Oh, I rolled a D6. This is just a D20, D20. D20. Right, sorry. That is insane and brutal and lovely. A one! <laughs> oh my god. It swallows your <laughs> eraser cap. <laughs> Bites you, two points of damage. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. One jumps at you, what do you do? Uh, it's time It's time to roll a blade hack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's going to be now. So I, I, I toss my hack up into the air, and yep. I, I bounce it on my knees, and then I try and kick up with one foot behind me to launch it at the zombie. Okay, great. But I am on rollerblades. I'm going to say because you're doing a combined attack. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that you fail. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot, and your sonic <laughs> skateboard knocks your... <laughs> your Too much like thrust! <laughs> uh, and the monocle just whispers in your, hey, maybe if you imbibe that hacky sack with some magical abilities, they'll be able to work together a little bit better. Uh, all right, thanks, thanks, dude. Um, <laughs> hey, just so we're clear, right just so we're clear, uh, just so you know, I live in New Mexico. You ever want to write me? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. I take out my magnifying glass and I point it at his monocle because I want to know more what is going on. <laughs> uh, uh, Cassandra lives in New Mexico. Okay, uh, is a, is a resident artist. Cassandra. Yes. Oh, cool, dude. Sweet. One, two, three. Uh, zombie launches at you. What do you do? Um. Okay. And you can also attack multiple zombies at once. One's attacking you, but you can also just like try to hit a bunch of them. Um. I'm gonna call upon um, Zimmy for mm -hmm. help. Great. Uh, just have him maul the uh, zombie attacking. Great. Uh. What'd you get? Eighteen. <gasps> Eleven. Zimmy. And how many do you want to attack? How many you, uh, were you attacking in your mind? Uh, is there still one? Uh, the so, pencil one that one is, swallowed my erasers. Yep. He's still biting me, and there's another approaching. <laughs> it bit and then backed away. It's an old game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's um, yeah. Okay. I want then. I want. I'm imagining that Zimmy is going to do a similar to the hat knocking move, but this time try to you know jump over both of them and pop their zombie heads off. Okay. Wow. Great. So two of them. And because you're old higher, that's what happens. And uh, and just and it's I'm like glad I went a bite in a general region, idea. a bite in general region, and they both just bang, and then you see your eraser heads fall to the ground. Oh, I get it back. Yep. Sick. And All right. Two zombies are killed. And two zombies are killed. Okay. So that leaves three zombies. That leaves three zombies. Oh, hello. One, two. One jumps at you. What would you like to do? Uh, so I'm gonna roll to call uh, our pal Carlson to <laughs> see if he can. Uh, Form some sort of uh, 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 Excel formula to near. Can you hack a game with Excel? Yeah. Probably not. Oh, sure. heck yeah. You can, play, you can play a game in Excel. There's a flight simulator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll for Carlson Excel hack. 16. Not terrible. 11. Great. Woo. Carlson just runs in <laughs> and is like, now got a haircut and is just like in a trim suit and goes like, <laughs> I look good and I think smart. And I pulls out his <laughs> TI-89 and just holds it. And like this little like flip up like a, um, projection screen comes up and choo -choo -choo. And then uh, how many zombies are you attacking? If he's hacking the, the program that has all three, I feel like it would all affect three, all three zombies. Great. He's hacking the, yeah. And, and, and just like, I'm going to shift their, va their health value to zero and their movement value to zero. And they stop and then just are stuck in place. And he goes... Thanks, Carlson. This feels right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. It's your game developer now. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just really like zeros? <laughs> is this making him happier, or is he retreating back into himself? 
Uh, this is making him happy. Okay, okay. Happier. Um, <laughs> to clarify. So now you run into, great, you run into the next room, and it transforms into this, like, uh, plane, this, like, outside plane. Okay. Uh, with, like, behind you is a giant, like, arc, like a full completed arc. Okay. And then um, these armadillos with little, uh, like, um, drills on their hands okay. come marching up. And you realize that you're in Let's Quickly Pitch of spin off a, a, a bootleg version of Sonic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> or Tale of what Trails. What is it? Tails. Tails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just not the Sonic. Lawyers, the lawyers are pushing Sonic, it. Tails. Um, Was there ever just Blitz a the game? Porcupine. Oh, Blitz the Porcupine. Uh, brr, brr, brr. That was like the sound of me running out of ideas. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the price is right. Yeah, great. <laughs> I love it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again, it's up to the table, so we might vote that. Like that's what actually the... <laughs> no. <laughs> it might happen. No. Oh, right. And then finally, Holland. Um, instead of uh, knuckles, knee joints. Knee oh. joints. Knee joints. Oh. We got knee joints. Surely go fast. Surely go <laughs> fast. All right. What do we like? What are we thinking? What do we like? What are we feeling? Oh, I like the Cronenberg esque horror of knee <laughs> joints. <laughs> <laughs> Knee joints is really good. Oh, it's like stop motion video game, like claymation knee Pretty joints. Pretty much any question that we need, if we need one of these, we'll just like give her about 40 seconds. Yeah. And I was just like, so what do we got? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> knee <laughs> joints. <laughs> Great, I like it. Great. Let's print it. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. One of the knee joint, one of the knee joint high <laughs> monsters. Uh, raises up because it has the attack. Of course, their their bodies stretch, oh, and then uh, it starts to come at you with the drills. Oh, what do you do? It's been really grotesque for like a lot of body horror in this. VHS the nineties practical effects. What can That's I say? True. Now it's all CGI. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Wait, so it's it's got it's a knee joint that has like drills. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And what room are we in? You know what, just to make it the video game room. We're in the video game room? The oh retro game room. Boy. And you're one chamber away from um, getting to mm. the manager. Okay, uh, geez. I'm going to, oh, okay. I'm gonna take my sunglasses and snap oh, off the ear bits. I'm so glad we got those. And then try to like, Cram them inside. It's like behind the joint, the back of the knee. Like oh, that's how you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You go to the back of the knee. That's I'm how you knock people out. I'm gonna tickle it with the sunglass earpieces. Let's roll. Let's roll. And hope it like. Just, I got 16. Uh, I got a five. Uh, and they go. We're not ticklish. Oh no! You take two points of damage. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. One flies at you. What do you all do? All right, all the only effective thing I've been able to do so far is, is merge into my Sonic Blade board. So I'm gonna try and do that and like do a Sonic swipe at it. Great. And just try and cut it in half. I rolled a fourteen. I rolled a fifteen. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> and its knee joints suck back up into its body, and it just misses it. Gross! And then you're like, <laughs> why does it need those oh, long no. legs? It can clearly fly. Uh, you take two points of damage. Uh, one, two. Flies at you. Okay. Uh, I don't. I'll just take a nap. <laughs> I don't have a good. So basically, what I want to do, I don't know if I have a good thing to do this with. But the the whole thing with knee joints, and if you hit the back of the knee joint, mm -hmm. they it, they goes out. Like you can just have, kick it. Yeah, yeah you, you can just, just kick, kick it. it. Like I did yeah. that. I did that once to uh, fun story. The what were those things called on the bus that were like the TAs, but for the bus. Uh, you know what security guards? <laughs> no, but it was like a student. It was, older student. it was the older student that sat in the back Your of the mediator? bus that we was technically supposed to like oversee. Uh, anyway, we so super didn't have I, that. I ran for <laughs> bus <laughs> monitor and it. No, no, no. <laughs> but he, it, it was basically they would just put an older student in charge who was kind of a bully, not a fan of his. So like one day, jokingly, as he was getting off the bus, kicked the back of his knee, and then he was bigger and he just collapsed. So this is what I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, got it. I got in a lot of trouble. So let's but, go and roll against each other for that. You're just doing a kick. I'm just gonna for a kick. I got six. Like, the back of the knee. I'm gonna roll, and also the <laughs> <laughs> uh, you kick, you kick the the, I sure got detention the knee joint monster, it. and oh, it collapses. It's that now down to four. Their weak point is their knee joint. <laughs> 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 They're all weak points. Flies at you, Hermione. Finally. And remember, right. you can attack multiple at once. All right. Um, 
since Hermione has been doing nothing but sauntering, like you know, <laughs> casually, got in all the magic shit. With, with a with a lit cigarette, she just, she just puts one in his <gasps> eye. She puts out a cigarette in his eye. I got a two. Eyes, Jesus. I got an eight. So yeah. And you put it and goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take it back out and go. So good. And I flick it away. One, two, three, four, flies at you. Ah, uh, um, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and and do like a, a sweet blade skid. In, how many are left? Um, three. Okay, so I wanna like circle around and like start building up some speed and see if I can like skid and and like just knock them all down. Perfect. That is that. Eight. That is I rolled a five. Uh, it does not work. They <laughs> jump around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. No, totally. Like that's happening. Is this the? Okay. I cannot you let pull you a not pixel go fast. off the wall. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Go so I, I I turn around. I start building up speed. I ride up the wall for a bit and then push yes. off with my hand to generate more momentum. An eight, which is what you rolled last time. Twelve. Okay. Still not <laughs> enough. But I'm getting better. There's one more. There's one more rewind. And we're getting close. I say. I say we take it. All right. Is it good? Oops. Whoa! <laughs> Building speeds up the wall, push off with my hand, do a front handspring, generate more. <laughs> mm. Gotta go fast! A five, like my first roll. Twelve. Okay, still not But still I not believe we have a sub reroll that was gifted uh, to Dean. Dean! From Dean. WDB11. So you have that if you'd like to throw that into the mix. I'm gonna hang out to it. Okay. No. Oh no, we're using it! All right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> This is try number I four. I got a 12. But then I see Dean watching me and I really want to impress him. <laughs> I'm so impressed! <laughs> is that a crit 20? It's a crit success. Boom! Oh. I, thrive on, I thrive on the adulation of kids! <laughs> I'm like we, pulling we my eyelashes out. Practice, I'm so excited. Practice right. does make perfect. The more you practice, the better you will get at something. And yep. look, it's the true. lesson has been learned today. And the Carlson leans out from proud. like the pixel Rules. doorway and goes like, yeah. that's not how statistics works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so great. Rules. You Rules. destroyed all of them. Okay. And now you go into the oh, last, yeah. you go into the last chamber. And this is the boss chamber, so it's not even multiple, it's just one big one. Oh, yeah. uh, and it is. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, let's do this. Sure. <laughs> it's not Dig Dug. What game is this? Big Bug. Big Bug? <laughs> diggy Diggy. Diggy Diggy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ant Farm. Ant farm. And what is it? What is it going to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one is good. What is it? You got it. Now it's you built it up. Scoop, <laughs> shoop. <laughs> so, table vote. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Guys? I mean, this time I actually like a different one better. Uh, but I'm voting for scoop, shoop. <laughs> I want Big Bug. Big Bug? I'll take Big Bug. Big Bug? Let's go Big Bug! We should go Big Bug. Big Here's what happens. <laughs> it's a giant, not, uh, it's a giant, not, um, uh, distinct bug. It's just a bug. <laughs> not a ladybug, it's just a but bug. But it's very large. It's huge. Bug. <laughs> okay. it, it could be a beetle, but it's not. Yeah, it's a generic bug. Just, oh, oh, bug. You know what? <laughs> like a I'm putting an end to this nonsense. I'm pointing my magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, great. That oh, is. do I have to roll for that? I haven't been doing that. Oh, no, for general stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll allow. Well, uh, why would you, what would it be? Unless it's like a specific thing. Roll okay. for the specific bug you want it to be. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Oh, sure, yeah. The sun comes yeah, out and it I'm, him. I'm rolling to, uh, oh my god, I should just do that. <laughs> yeah, fuck the bug type. <laughs> I'm rolling to use. Uh, the yeah. sun's out. Sun's out, sun's fun's out. out. Yeah. No, <laughs> sun's out, I don't know. Sun's out, sun's it's out. It's a sun's critical out. fail. Oh no, but we're rolling d20s against each other, remember? Oh, okay, sure. Three? 17. Yes! Wow! So you. Crispy. Uh, so I'm gonna say this. You, The sunbeam is now uh, going in. The bug, uh, ambiguous bug, is oh, just sorry. getting bigger and bigger as it's going. Uh, shovel, double, shovel, double. What was it? What did scoop you shoot? Scoop, shoot, scoop, shoot, scoop, shoot, scoop, scoop, shoot, scoop, 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 scoop. Yeah. I think you're making. Are you making it bigger? <laughs> so it's getting bigger. No. Uh, <laughs> do you want to use your monocle? Yes. Uh, 
Hey, what's up? Sorry, oh, I was hey, just Sandra. doing some free drawing. <laughs> cool, no worries. Sorry to bother you. No, no, no. It's no bother at all. I really enjoy being involved. Uh, <laughs> hey. Can we hear that? Or you're just like, hey, it's, just, it's all in my head. Like, just, okay, I have Stephen Fry. <laughs> we can all hear Stephen Fry. <laughs> How did I end up with Count Gawkula? <laughs> And it goes, and you hear her say, um, or so you hear them say, uh, oh, uh, whoa, this thing is like, this, this thing is now getting so inflated, one hit and it'll be defeated. Pop it! Who wants to pop it? Pop the bug. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Ooh. Yes! D20 against D20. It was already D20, so. Oh, well, 18, so let's see how it is. See, now I'm scared. I oh, believe God. in you! Was this Evan? Uh, uh, it's... Ah! <laughs> double, double! And, like, dodges out of the way, and the lightning misses. No! Oh. Um... Pencil, Dean! Yeah, oh! Okay. But he yeah, can't yeah. do that while doing the Yeah, thing. you're holding it with both. It's like Indiana Jones. Uh, uh, I want to grab his pencil. Okay, remember okay. the... Oh! Uh, you need Dean to take my pencil sharpener too that. because it got, I broke the tip. I, I, I don't <laughs> so care. practical. I don't. I I go straight like broken off like stabby me. pencil. Let's no, roll. I didn't break it. Oh, oh okay. But I am I am like jumping in to like take your broke ass pencil. I just want to be clear. I've maintained my pencil length, 17. just not the sharpness. Let's talk about your pencil length later, honey. Now I'm like I blushing. Fifteen. <laughs> All right. What'd you uh, get? I rolled, but I'm gonna count mine on the table because I keep rolling here and I need to do it on the table. Okay. Eleven. So I did it. You pop it. Ah! Bug me gone. Ah! And it just, it's filled with the same kind of mucus that uh, I was excreting as. Why? Fish <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sure. With the mucus thing. <laughs> mucus flies everywhere. Oh. Actually, this is the '90s, like slime and yep. gas. Yeah. Totally. This is the it's most. It's just applesauce, right? <laughs> Uh, and in the place of the giant bug, uh, you see a TV and oh, a VHS. Right. And in it, with a staticky background, is the owner, whose nickname is Ace. And Ace says, "I call him. I call him a a sable." <laughs> hey, yep, yeah, it's yeah. That's totally. That's all. That's completely nineties. That's so yeah. completely nineties. Also, apparently, we don't we don't really hew to the nicknames people have. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm sensing you're kind of... <laughs> no, no, it's fine, Dean. And I, then, but if you ever need to talk to someone about it, you know, I have done a whole afternoon's worth of peer mediation. Dean, you know, I said it was cool. All right. Uh, I'm not and you hear tink, tink, tink as Ace taps on the glass and goes like, hey, how's it going? Um, really quick. It's we have, sticky. We have to sort some stuff. We have to sort some stuff out. One. I know. Apparently the state has mandatory <laughs> break <rooms. laughs> <laughs> Article number one, bud, and I'll get to it at the end. Article number one, and I'll absolutely get to the end, I promise. All right. But just really quickly for the four of you, you are now trapped in my VHS store. I encountered on my travels when I was collecting bootleg VHS tapes an evil that I thought I could contain here in the store. But I was wrong. And it's trying to get out. And it's trapped me. And if you're not, if you're not smart, I'm thinking on your feet, it'll trap you. But also, from what I've just seen, I think you guys can defeat the evil. So what do you say? Maybe we'll work together and do it? Sure. Hands yeah. in, guys. Hands in. Put your hand in, Abel. Slimy, I can't. Slimy I'm trapped. <laughs> and as you guys put your hands Dripping. in. Uh, I dropped the pencil on the top of your hand. <laughs> it sticks. <laughs> you are still real sticky, bro. Uh, Last VHS store on three. Last VHS store on three. One, two, three. Last, Last VHS, VHS store! store! And really quick, bud, I let you go 10 minutes early every day. That was your break. Oh. Sweet. I just think it would have been something that you should have discussed that arrangement Dang. before. All right, I'm sorry. Not now. All right. Hey, guys. Let's go kick some VHS ass. And that's this week's episode! <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome! Wow. That was so wow. great! VHS. We yeah, that's what I was yeah. 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 So we, wait, wait, wait. we all went wait, there. Wait, <laughs> it was on the table. Here we go. And then, uh, pull the tape out. Boom. Hey guys. Let's VHS. Let's Hey bud, just so you know, 
You, I let you go 10 minutes early every day. I'm not going to get involved. Sweet. <laughs> I just thought I wanted you to spend more time with your family. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. What? What do you say? You ready to kick some VHS? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that resonates so well for me. VHS. Oh. Arse. Oh. Arse. Oh. Arse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Wow, mm. this is so much fun. So much fun. Is wow. So much fun. I think I have oh. a headache from laughing so hard. Same so here. Look at the beauty of this. It looks, this. You're, it this looks ex almost exactly like that. Is oh, like, wow. I, had, I had it. This is incredible. It's really, I had those. Yeah. Fish I am blown away by this. Uh, folks, we'll be back next week and the week after that, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Pacific, to go through this story. There is so much more planned, so please, if oh you enjoyed God. it, tell all your friends. But before we do our sign-off, sign-off, and go to sleep, where can the wonderful folks at home find you guys on the internet? Um, my name is Colin J. Morris. You can find me on social medias under the name Como1787. That's C-O-M-O-1787. And you can listen to my various podcasts, like uh, Indie Cred, which is a show where my partner Zane and I interview people who we think have Indie Cred in various arts and industries of interest. And also on Same Day Shipping, which is a nerdy perspective relationship advice show that I do with uh, three very hilarious comedians. Um, and it's uh, both of those shows are out weekly, so check them out. There you go. Nice. Uh, hi, I'm Jordan Capes Callerman. You can find me on Twitter at Jordan Callerman. Uh, I think it's maybe, it's probably being posted in the chat right now, so I won't spell that out for you. <laughs> also, uh, I am here on Saving Throw. I run Wild Cards on Friday nights. Uh, our season just finished last week, but we're doing our bonus episode of Prickly Tall Stag and the Danger Seekers, comma, Pairs, which is our fantasy one shot where I let all of my players who have been super serious and dedicated all season go crazy go nuts, and we're gonna do whatever pops into their heads. So that'll be this Friday night on Saving Throw. Yeah. Have it over here. I'm Nika Harper. You can find me at Nika Harper on Twitter. So just my name. And that's it. I have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> my cat is really cute. You should go look at the cat. That's it. That's all I've got. Like, I don't know. I'm going on right now. Yeah. And how are you, Holland? Uh, I'm Holland Farkas. You can find me on Twitter at Holland Farkas. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to plug right now. See, this is the thing That's about the thing, plug I used to do I used to do a podcast with this guy, but I don't, the podcast still exists. You can check it out. It's Sunnydale, <laughs> it's Sunnydale Study Group. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm just not on it anymore, but if you like start from the beginning, <laughs> if you start from the beginning, you can be like, oh, hey, this, this is kitchen. really intense. <laughs> it's true. Again, there's it's a lot truths. of therapy happening. <laughs> the oh. um, but uh, yeah, sometimes I write articles, but I usually tweet about those if those get written. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just a, uh, just chilling right now. I'm looking for the next thing. Looking for the next big adventure in yeah. live. So if yeah. you like that, text so, uh, 377. You can go to my website, <laughs> my website, colinfergus.com, and find my reel and my resume and my LinkedIn. It's a really good reel. It is a really it's a good reel. reel. It's a very it's pretty good reel. Thanks. Uh, let's, uh, I've, but I don't Roll know. Roll to yep. see if my <laughs> Omar, where do we find you? And I'm Omar, you can find me at Omar Najam on Twitter as well as Omar Najam Film on Instagram. I have a podcast called Thank You for Questing, which you can check out. It's actually a sister podcast on the network with you guys mm -hmm. for Very fun Save Day show. Shipping. What network? Um, the Zeitheist Network, which is... That's a, a hilarious name. Thank you. Take a moment, Zeitheist. Uh, <laughs> and... <laughs> And uh, also, I am doing a web series that is uh, being funded through our wonderful patrons on Patreon called Fictional Fairs. If you're interested in improvised fantasy jokes, kind of like what we've been doing here, but less 90s specific and more public domain, go ahead and check that out, patreon.com slash fictional fairs. More public domain. Yeah, actually all More public, public domain. Yeah, all pu Although the universal one started a little public domain -y, It's okay. Yeah, I was but, like, damn. Yeah, but it's only public domain because we don't want to pay anything. Um, <laughs> and you can find all of us next Tuesday at the same channel at the same time we'll be doing this. We're, and it's going to be a whole new adventure. Same story, but the things, things are going to change next week. So thank you so much for everyone that's jumped in the chat. Thank you so much for everyone who threw support our way for also, hosting us. Also, tune in tomorrow night uh, at 8 p.m. here on Saving Throw for Iron Keep which is our D&D 5e show. Yes. It's finishing Ooh. up its season. Not it's yet. Penultimate episode. Such a good show. Tune in. It's so good and so funny. The people on it are amazing. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you next Bye. week. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Thank you.